All right, that is a good way to open the show, right? I think so, right? Triple seven, 300 ER from uh, from Haneda. I think a perfect way to start today's uh, today's doubleheader, the uh, second day in the San Francisco edition. Yes, LA flights SFO edition for the second day. Why? Well, because we love SFO, and I think there's fog at LAX, so you know, kill two birds with one stone, right? Let's go for the next arrival. We have, uh, let's take a look. Hold on a minute as I uh, uh, get situated here. The next arrival arriving in the next few seconds. Oh, look at all the messages coming in. It's so nice to see every single one of you, my friends. Welcome back to LA Flights. It's not a day without, it's not a day of plane spotting. It's not done right if it's without the LA Flights family. So it's so nice to see you, friends. All right, let's get situated here. Let's go for the next arrival. Next one to come in, JetBlue 1333 flying in from Boston, Massachusetts, an A321. Look at that, there it is. I think we have the 737 getting a move on. Airlines 1986 flying to Seattle, Washington, a 737 800. Take a look. I think we have the little E-175 touching down. Uh, let's see, really far away. I'll activate full zoom. Well, almost full zoom. Flying in from Palm Springs, Southern California, SkyWest 5996. Uh, let's see, I think we have the Coast Guard, yes. Let's give the Coast Guard a shout out.
Now that is fully zoomed in, my friends. Jeez Louise, huh? Fully zoomed in. That plane, that helicopter, I should say, very far away. All right, let's go and take a look. I think we have a dragonfly. Is this a dragonfly? The 8 to 20? Hold on, give me a second. There it is. Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. That is a dragonfly. That's what we call the 8020s. Why? Well, because we want to and we can. And second of all, well, because it does look like a dragonfly. Well, at least to me. We have Tony Kumarov. Thank you so much for joining us, friend. Tony Kumarov all the way in Tennessee. It's so nice to have you on board the, uh, what is it, day 5,000 of the marathon? I think, listen, I think we've been having a marathon since New York, really. Uh, we have Tony Kumarov. Good morning to you, friend. We have Ginny. So nice to see you. We have Ginny sending a five dollar super chats. We're happy to see that you stayed in San Francisco, Peter. You sound rest. Uh, you sound rested and ready to take on the day of plane spotting. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hashtag Team LA Flights. Definitely rested uh, and definitely ready for the day of planes. We have Sanjeev Baga sending us a two pound super chat. A proud member in the Banana Club. Sadly, there's no banana planes here at SFO, sadly. You know, once in a while, we're going to have to start zooming in to Oakland across the bay to catch those banana, banana planes. Sanjeev Banga, thank you so much, friend. Thank you for another day at SFO. You got it. Well, look at this. We have, uh, we have the twofer. And today, well, we're actually starting at the time that I wanted to start yesterday. But of course, yesterday I underestimated the drive and, well, Peter arriving here a little late because of the traffic and, well, Peter needing a few extra stops to, you know, stretch the legs and, you know, wake up a little. Uh, not wiping away tears, uh, waking up. Who do we have? Okay, so we have a cool plane taking up. Uh, listen, good morning. Good morning, my friends. Thank you so much for joining this crazy AF geek. Several hundred miles away from home several hours away from home thank you for joining this crazy av geek in my san francisco adventure you guys are the best the viewers around you guys rock let's get to the planes we have one taking off right now don't these planes know that it's the uh, peter show American 2093, no flight information given by the popular tracking app. Wow, hold on a minute. I think there's a very big plane flying above us. Hold on, very big plane. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, yes, look at this. Okay, can we see it? All right, hold on. First, zoom in of the day. Nothing is, nothing's coming in. Okay, so bear with me. Indulge me. Let's take a look. Let's go up to the sky and let's zoom into a plane really far away. My goodness. Atlas. 8343 flying from Anchorage to Riverside. That's in Southern California. That's a short, uh, I think, 20-minute flight from LAX. Our home base. Can we see it? What do you think? Worth it? Flying at 39,000 feet above sea level. I like it. We can kind of see it, right? The plane? Goodness. All right. 
All right, Peter. All right, Pete. All right, Peter. Let's give it a rest with the zoom-ins. Yes, only for a little bit. Peter has too much fun doing the zoom-ins. Uh, let's take a look. I think we have a couple of good planes here, yes. So we have Alaska. We have United heading to the ones. Who knows? Maybe the world-famous drag race, right? Okay, we're going to be zooming into the Dragonfly in just a few seconds. Where's the Mexican? Mexican 737, there you go, there it is. That one flying in from Mexico City. There you go, are you ready? Jacob says Peter's not afraid of the zoom. Never, maybe at, the f maybe at first, but not anymore. Let's take a look. We have Bill. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, let's take a look. 27 degrees out this morning. I can't wait for another good day of the plane spotting. Uh, good, day of the, good day of the plane spotting. Hope you're well and you do an awesome job. Thank you, Bill. I do appreciate that. Thank you, friend. We have Chris. Thank you so much for the membership, memberships yesterday and today sending a $5 super chat. Looking forward to another day of relaxing plane spotting. You got it. Relaxing vibes. Please sit back, relax, enjoy the day of planes right here on LA flights. Let's go and take a look at the dragonfly. Look at that. I love how the dragonfly looks. Let's correct the exposure here. I like how it looks. It's a good plane. It's a good looking plane, my friends. Well, welcome to LA Flights, everybody. The home of the one more plane, the home of the one more out of LAX adventure. I'm telling you, I said this in the beginning, right? So this week we're kind of doing a marathon, three day marathon, but in reality, if you really think about it, we've been doing a marathon since Christmas of New York, uh, Christmas of 2023, back during the uh, TWA special. Crazy marathons. Welcome to LA Flights. The home of the one more show. Dragonfly. Looks like we have a 737 United Airlines lined up, getting ready to go. Is it going to uh, get a move on or no? We do have an arrival. How about this? We'll leave the ones and we'll go ahead and capture the, uh, the incoming aircraft. Looks like a 777, yes? United Airlines 838 flying in from Narita. An eight hour, 35 minute flight for this one. Let's zoom in to the 777.
and we already have another takeoff already lined up on one right we have alaska airlines this one should be taking off in just a few seconds there's no one coming in no one on the uh, 28 we have alaska 380 uh, correct and 332 flying to chicago a 737 max 9 and good morning donna are you ready Donna, are you ready? So Donna in California. I met a Donna who, who delivered a su such a wonderful basket. Is this the Donna that delivered the basket of goodies at Clutters Park? the one from Chicago uh, heading to Chicago Alaska Airlines 332 How about this? Let's go for the arrival. I think we have an E-175. Yes, a little E-175. Looks like we have another Alaska 737 pushing. Take a look at the flight information. Let's see, we have. Oh, let's see, uh, pretty far away. Oh, let's see, doing my best with the zoom in. Yes. Let's take a look. Who do we have? Pushing from Terminal 2, we have Alaska 30 flying to JFK. Donna, are you ready? So Donna, uh, I met such a wonderful Donna in uh, in uh, Southern California back on the, when was it? On the Monday special, I believe. You should have seen the basket. The basket was full of goodies, uh, full of tasty treats. I do wonder if this is you, Donna, but regardless, thank you so much. We love our Donnas here on LA flights. Thank you so much for the $10 super chat. I wish you the happiest of third, hold on happiest of Wednesdays my goodness we are starting to lose it huh he doesn't know what day it is we have George look at this George says found his channel back on the Monday special and this helps the work day go by quickly thank you George for being with LA flights today and thank you for joining the LA flights family George if you haven't done so please consider subscribing it's free it doesn't cost one penny not one cent absolutely free and ensures that you don't miss any seconds any action of la flights you'll be notified every single time i post anything on the channel let's take a look oh wow look at all the activity in the background do you see that uh, they've been okay so the fire trucks have been out and about all morning long so i was setting up right i was setting up the equipment preparing to go live and i noticed all the fire trucks i was like wait a minute what are we going to have a flight divert back are we going to have an emergency landing i was trying to figure out but i checked and mods helping me check as well no emergency landing it's just it's just the fire trucks just out and about i really don't have a clear answer for you guys i'm so sorry about that but they are out and about i think we have some more here too there you go 
Let's go for the exact jet. Will it take off? No, it's not taking off. No way. It is, we have an arrival coming in. We have JetBlue flying in from JFK, JetBlue 15. A five hour, 50 minute flight from New York. Terminal five at JFK, I know that terminal oh too well. Only if Delta Airlines parked at Terminal 5, my goodness. Peter wouldn't have to walk with a whole bunch of equipment to the TWA Hotel. So I am flying. I, th I, think, uh, I think I told you guys, right? So I booked my flights to New York on Sunday, and it's Delta, of course. I'm going to be flying on the 767-400 early, early, uh, early morning, and I'm going to be flying back on a 767-300. Who knows? Maybe Captain Ken gets to be on the flight back to Los Angeles. That will be super cool. Do you hear that? I hear that. Do you guys recognize the engines that are currently starting up somewhere at SFL? Do you recognize the engine sounds? Flying in from Santana, California, we have SkyWest 3440, a little E-175. A one, exactly one hour flight for this one. Exactly one hour for the little E-175. Let's go for the arrival. Yes, we have another one. We have United Airlines 2480 flying in from Seattle, Washington. One hour, 50 minute flight from Seattle. I think we have a heavy, first, uh, second heavy of the day, yes. Korean 23 flying in from Seoul. Get ready, 10 hour flight. The aircraft, a big 777-300ER.
Jeez Louise. I wanted to see Frontier take off, but it's lining up on the runway. It might be released. No, hold on. It's not being released. No way. Korean is too close to the 28s. So we will see Frontier in the next few seconds after this one touches down. We might have a drag race. No, no drag race. Almost. All right, my money is on the underdog. Let's go for Frontier. Frontier is going to lift off first. Let's take a look. And look at that. The underdog winning today. Love that. Oh, look at that. I love it when the underdog wins. All right, Frontier. Great job. Too bad we couldn't see the uh, zoom in, but hey, I'll take it any day of the week. Let's go for, oh wow, hold on a minute. Look at this. Who do we have? Very special plane. Do you see that plane? Taxing. Hold on, let me get a close up. Wowzers, look at this. We have, do you know something? I think this is our first time getting the takeoff of this one. It's Air India. Is this the one flying to uh, Mumbai? Let's take a look. Is this the one heading to Mumbai? Yes. Oh, my goodness. No flight information given. I think it is. Are you ready? I think, I think that's the one heading to Mumbai. You got to love SFO. I love the action. Do you know something? Air India should be taxi. Hopefully, taxi's right next to us. All right. Well, okay, so right now it's on Taxiway Alpha, Air India, and we'll taxi on Lima in just a little bit. Seven three seven already lined up, and oh wow! Look at this. I wasn't expecting this, my friends. So it looks like Air India will take off on runway one right. It's a take off on one right. Very nice. That's close up takeoff. All 
make for the takeoff. The one flying to Medford, Oregon, United Airlines 433. What a great sight. Look at that. Air India. Big one, two, uh, 777 200 LR, and that's the very special Mahatma Gandhi livery. Could be the highlight of today's episode. Here we go. What do you think? Did we give it to Air India today? We have given the very co the, the, the coveted highlight of uh, the day award given by the LA Flight Show. We have given the award to Arian D in the past. Do we do it again? That's the question. How about this? Do we cross 1,000 likes before this one takes off? 70 likes away from crossing the big 1,000. All right, here we go. Clear for takeoff, yes? No, not yet. Takeoff, not yet. Certainly a fan favorite, yes. Air India taking off in front of the LA flights cameras and only five likes away until we cross the first 1,000. Only when we travel to uh, JFK and here at SFO is when we can see Air India. All right, have a safe flight. That's going to be a big one. Big flight back home. Let's go and take a look at... Is it the headache in a can? A uh, headache in a can, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. California livery.
that, but let's just go for the next arrival. Looks like a 737 United. And I'm wrong, Air Canada. We have a very cool plane, Cool Max. Flying in from Toronto, we have Air Canada 737, a fitting flight number because the aircraft is a 737, a MAX 8, making it a very cool plane, a 737 Cool Max. All right, here we go. So we have is, I'm pretty sure a little E-175, but how about this? We'll zoom in into this one. It's a big one. United Airlines, you're going to hear me say a lot. You're going to hear me say that a lot today. There goes another big one, United Airlines. So this one flying to Seoul in South Korea, a big 787-9 Dreamliner. We have United Airlines 893. We have, okay, so Donna in California clarifying there. Okay, so it's not you. Uh, Donna, right here in the Bay Area. Well, listen, we love our Donnas, like I said. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of the LA Flights family. Donna, in the Bay Area, we have Susie Ryder, 55, $2 Super Chats. Good morning, Team LA Flights. SFO Vibes. Absolutely, here we are again, SFO Vibes. Thank you so much for joining us, Suze. We have the Overrated Chef sending us a very nice super sticker. Thank you so much, friend. The Overrated Chef, welcome to the LA Flies SFO Edition. Back-to-back, -back, double header. What do we have taken off? Little, you want 75. Let's take a look. 787 still holding short of the ones. Not crossing yet. Go for the next one to come in. Looks like an E-175. Yes. Flying in from Bakersfield, very nice. Bakersfield, California, that's a 50 minute flight. If I took the flight to Bakersfield, right, and I started to drive in Bakersfield, that would cut off, I think, four hours of my commute. I would still have to drive three or four hours, but hey, you know, it's, it's, it's halfway, I'll take it. 757 heading to the ones.
Francesca for the A320. American? I think we do, right? Yes, American Airlines lining up and it's ready. It's ready to go. Now we do have an arrival on 28 right, so this one stay put for now. Thank you, Brian. Are you ready? Hey, Peter. I really enjoyed meeting you yesterday before the show. I have you uh, streaming in my patrol car today. Are you ready? <laughs> A big shout out to you, Brian. So nice to meet you, friend, okay? Oh, Brian, good vibes, huh? Are you? Who says are you ready? It's not me. Are you ready? Jeez Louise. Let's take a look. Okay, we have a whole bunch of planes heading to the ones. We have a 737 United Airlines touching down on 28 right. Get ready. It's going to be constant takeoffs for the next, uh, I think, half hour. Don't jinx it, Peter. Don't jinx it. Turn and burn. Yes, turn and burn. Rolling takeoff. Here we go. Flying to Arcata, California. That's a short flight. Little E-175. Southwest, we'll take it. I'll take it any day of the week. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Southwest 737 on the uh, 28. Flying in from Phoenix, Arizona, we have Southwest 844. I think we have the 75, 757 lining up. Turn and burn, everybody. Come on, keep it going.
757 flying to Chicago. O'Hare International, we have United Airlines 81 38. And that was a turn and burn. Possible drag race, let's take a look. All right, so we have a whole bunch of planes. Let me take a look. So we have a 787 Dreamliner. Not crossing the ones yet. No, not yet. And it looks like we also have Singapore all the way in the distance. An A350 flying to, well, Singapore, nonstop. West 52 58. Right, so there goes that one. Let's zoom into the other one on one left, lifting off right now. Not quite the drag race we wanted, but hey, I'll take it. Looks like we have a firecracker United Airlines flying in from Portland. Okay, looks like the 787 heading to Seoul is crossing the runway finally. Oh, wow. If you want an encore of the 757s, get ready. We're going to have a 757 take off in the next few seconds. Seconds, everyone. Oh, great sound. Getting ready. Singapore is holding short. Hey, Mike, good morning. Thank you so much for sending us a $5 super chat this morning. Mike, all the way in Los Angeles, wonderful viewer. I hope you're still watching, my friend. I'm so sorry for the late shout out. Mike Pilot, thank you so much for that very nice uh, super sticker. We have Shanta, nice, and, uh, nice to see you and welcome back. Shanta says, hello, Peter. Thank you for the one more day at San Francisco. One more day, the double header, Shanta. Are you ready? Are you ready for back-to-back -back days from SFO? 757, getting a move on. Here we go.
Okay, so the 757 is out of here. Let's go for the A350. That's going to be a long flight. Almost 8,500 nautical miles to Singapore. Just about 8,500. Crossing the ones. What else do we have? We have a 737 already lined up on one left. And Jim Barnes, thank you so much for sending us a $10 Super Chats. Good morning, Peter. Thank you for the SFO shows. My first time on a plane, I was five years old, and I landed at SFO from Phoenix. A uh, correction, Portland. I remember the flights on United Airlines from July 1967 like it was yesterday. And Jim sending those SFO vibes. Memories, my friend. Thank you so much, Jim, for sharing that with us. What do we have? Little 737. Getting a move on. Flying to San Diego, California. That is, what, a 10-hour drive, I think? 10, 11 hours drive? Well, not really. It's a eight or nine hours drive. Forget about the drive, you'll get, you'll arrive at your destination in about one hour, 10 minutes, one hour, 20 minutes. Okay, let's go for the couple heavies, yes? So we have Singapore and we have the A350. Let's see. There you go. Uh, Singapore, the A350, and the United Airlines 787 Dreamliner. I know they're very far away, but all right, how about this? Let's do something. Take a look. There we go. Much better. That's United waiting, and we have Singapore taxiing. What do we have on the ones? Looks like another drag race shaping up. And arriving, we have a very cool plane. We have a cool Max, a 737. Why is it a cool Max? Because Air Canada loves to put the sunshades on their planes and combine that with the fact that the aircraft is called the Max, a 737 Max 8. Put them together, you get a very cool plane, a cool max. All right, so that's the Canadian. Let's go, and, let's go and take a look at the one. So we have a pretty good drag race shaping up between two Airbus planes. Uh, correction, one Airbus on one left and one 737. We have United Airlines 2356 heading to New Orleans. And I think we can zoom into the Airbus taking off. This one flying to Mexico City.
Oh, look at this. I think we have a very blue plane coming in. United Airlines still waiting. We'll go for the Breeze touchdown. Flying in from Richmond, Virginia. Let's go and take a look. Little one. Firecracker. United Airlines 2027 flying to Jackson, Wyoming. A firecracker A319. Right, so now we have both of them. Okay, so we have A350. They're still trying to find a gap. Do you know something? We might have the gap uh, form right now. We might have the United lineup. No, I don't think so. It would have started moving by now. So it looks like these planes are going to have to continue to wait. Edge of the Flyer, thank you so much. Sending us a $2 super chat. Not just the sights of SFO, but also the sounds. Hear this, AJ. Sounds are epic. Flying to Burbank. United Airlines 1702 flying to Burbank. And look at this. This is exactly what I was talking about. We have the 737, correction, the 777 lining up. Remember, it's flying to Seoul in South Korea. Now look at this. We have Better start getting a move on pretty quick because we have. Let's take a look. We have an arrival. There you go. But I think we can all head over to the takeoff. Yes, it's already on the roll. One flank to Seoul. Just about a nine hour flight back home. Not too bad. Okay, there goes the one heading to South Korea. Yes, we have the 757. That's going to give us a whole bunch of sound. RB211s, Rolls-Royce engines are known to be screamers, yes. Seven fifty seven, where is it going? It's flying to Cancun, Mexico. So it is a takeoff on the ones. Uh, correction, United Airlines 1678, the 757 flying to Boston, Logan, the Atari Ferrari to Boston. This one, on the other hand, Alaska Airlines is the one flying to Cancun, Mexico. Okay, let's go for the big one. We have an arrival. 
As Singapore continues to hold short of runway 28 rights, we have an arrival. We have United flying in. Hold on. Uh, United flying in from Seoul. Look at that. Okay, so we just had the outbound flight heading to South Korea. Now we have the inbound. United 892 flying in from Seoul. A 10-hour flight. No, not really, but how about this? Well, instead of zooming into the E175, we'll zoom into the 757. Okay, 757, let's take a look. And I think flying above SFO, we have Turkish 289 flying in from Istanbul, a 777-300ER. We have Scottish Linda, thank you so much, sending us a 10-pound super chat. Thank you, Linda, for watching LA Flights. Hey, Peter, great to see you stayed. And we got a mention on the Airliners live stream. Very cool. You know, I haven't been watching Martin and Andy uh, as much as I want to. Uh, great. Great plane spotting gun, my goodness. You know, come to think of it, you know, I really wish I could, I, I, I wish I had time, but I think I'm either on the road or about to get on the road during their live shows, geez Louise. Uh, yeah, very cool, thank you so much, Linda, for the, uh, for the cool update. I'm gonna have to check that out later on. Ah, uh, let's take a look. Oh, Martin, oh, Andy, good vibes. We have Charlie, seven months of channel membership. Glad to have you in town for my month anniversary. Charlie, one month? Seven months, there you go. Month of month anniversary, there you go. Seven months, you're a member of the Red Plane Squadron. You are five away from the Golden Plane Squadron. Let's listen to this, RB211 getting a move on. on the 757. Don't underestimate those RB211s. Yes, it's a bigger plane, but oh, I have faith in the RB211s. Come on, let's take a look. Who's going to lift off first? And it looks like a push. What do you think? I think it's a tie. I think we have the very rare tie. We have a push. Both of them rotated at the same time. Correct me if I'm wrong. What do you think? Both of them uh, rotating at the same time. I'll take that any day of the week. Wow, look at all these planes. My goodness, we have a good old-fashioned traffic jam. Look at this. It's a little hard to see, yes, but we have so many planes. Let's say uh, we have tons and tons of planes. And it looks like we have United Airlines. Uh, let's see which one. Do we have United 1897 flying to Los Angeles? That's an LA flight. 1020 MJ, thank you so much for continuing that membership, friend. How many months? 25 months. I'm sorry for putting the message so late on the screen, friend. Uh, One man band. 
one man band trying to do so many things. Well, it's good to see you, and I hope you enjoyed Lurkers Lounge. Team Stripes, MJ, always, right? Team Stripes, my friend. We have Seattle Flights, 12 months. Welcome to the Golden Plain Squadron. Keep up the good work, Peter. Love your live streams and also love from Seattle. Thank you, Seattle Flights. A name that I see so familiar. Seattle Flights, are you ready? Okay, let's go for uh, the Singapore flight flying to Singapore, yes. Singapore to Singapore. Racing down the runway. I'm complaining about my 700 mile commute. That's an 8,500 nautical mile commute. My goodness, huh? <laughs> Hold on, I just saw the funniest thing. Okay, you know, I was giving MJ a, a shout out, right? MJ, a longtime Team Stripes member. David, did you really change your profile picture to a Gondor beautiful island stripes with a big red cross around it? My goodness. David Healy, anti stripes. Seeing that, my goodness. Made my hour. Are you ready, David? I think we have an American Airlines 737. Alaska Airlines, look at that 100 years of, of uh, Boeing. Let's take a look. Special livery. 100 years strong, there you go. I'll take that any day of the week. Oh goodness. Thank you, Shanta. You ready? Sending us a $50 super chat. You deserve it. Thank you again for two days at SFO. Best channel. Much love to you, Pita. Thank you so much. That's an amazing super chat, Shanta. Two days and listen, we're going to be coming out here every single week. Every week, SFO vibes. That's an amazing, amazing super chat. Thank you, Shanta, for being Team LA Flights. Alaska special livery. Wow, look at the backup. My goodness. 
Okay, so we have, let's take a look at the traffic jam, yeah? So I'm activating the uh, zoom camera. So we have that Alaska 737 on one left. We have that one, we have a 737 United. Let's just take a look at all these planes. It continues, it continues. We have more and more planes. And south, wow, we have so many planes. Let's take a look, we have CRJ, yes, heading to the one for takeoff. And E-175. Wow, hold on a minute, let's go for the big one. We're gonna go for the big one. Let's go and take a look. Here we go. That one flying to Boston, Massachusetts, Boston Logan. We have JetBlue 1734, and we have yet another heavy on final approach. We have Japan Airlines flying in from Narita 787-9, about one minute away from touchdown. All right, let's go for the 787. 787, let's take a look. Oh, my goodness, did I forget to tell you? I think I forgot to tell you. We have a pilot, a little later on, shining the light for us. I actually met someone out here. And pilots will be flying a citation out of here a little later on. Hopefully we, we, hopefully we haven't missed it. Uh, hopefully not. I'm gonna feel really bad. Are you ready? Let's take a look. We're going to call this person First Officer Citation. First Officer Citation. Traffic jam continues, my goodness. Let's see, we have this one. We have Annette sending us a $2 chat. <laughs> Hold on, Annette, oh my goodness. All right, there you go. Two heavies in the same shot, and I think we have another one on final approach. Let's go for the United takeoff.
Nevertheless, let's go for the arrival, yes. Okay, flight number, are you ready? All right, hold on, I have to look for the uh, flight number. My goodness, hopefully we haven't missed it. Uh, first officer citation, we'll be taking a citation out of here. It's flying to Canada. And flight number, my goodness. Jeez Louise, all right, hold on, let me track the plane a little better. Okay, so the flight number, okay, hold on. Jeez Louise, where is it? Sorry about that, guys. Uh, just trying to get the flight information for the uh, for the shine the light. I'm literally doing like three things at once, four things at once. My goodness. Okay, so that's American, and okay, flight number goes. Okay, so it's ASP five ten, Alpha Sierra Papa five ten, and it's gonna be the little citation. Hopefully, it hasn't taken off yet. Hopefully, it hasn't. I don't think it has because I mean I saw the pilot a few uh, like a few minutes before we started the live show, so I doubt that it's taking off. So we have the heavies, yes, we have Turkish heading to the international terminal. Annette, are you ready? Annette sending us the two dollars super chat. Can I work can I come work for you all? My goodness, Annette. What do you mean? Like here at SFO or in general? Now if you want to be, let's see, uh, Peter's personal assistant, it requires a lot of traveling. Are you ready? You know, traveling to New York, traveling to SFO, trying to uh, traveling to all these places. Uh, there's one downside. Well, I, s I call it a an upside. Are you ready? I, s I consider it upside. Some people might consider it a downside. Peanut butter cups. That's going to be the form of payment. There's only one person in this entire world that accepts peanut butter cups as a form of payment. And it's Kevin. Crazy Kevin. That's why we call him Crazy Kevin. Thank you, Annette. Good vibes. Friendly vibes. Yes. Friendly, friendly vibes. We have Air New Zealand eight minutes away. Thank you, Richard, for the update. Looks like no Lufthansa for today. I'm, from what I'm hearing is that we're going to have Lufthansa back here at SFO this Saturday, I think. Uh, but Peter's not going to be here, but hey, we'll have it for next week's shows, yes? Next week, we might... Uh, let's take a look. We might have back-to-back. Uh, -back. I'm liking the idea of having double headers. Uh, I really am liking it. Tuesdays and Wednesdays here at SFO. Let me know if you like that idea. If not, then we'll just return to the original idea. Uh, one day a week. A Tuesday, for example. Something like that. But we'll see what happens, my friends. We'll see what happens. Uh, do we have any flight information yet? Okay, so the exec jets, yes. Uh, flight number, okay, so it's ASP, Alpha Sierra Papa 510. And it's flying back to Canada today. First officer citation. Uh, let's see, I'm not seeing it yet. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. More and more planes. Are you ready? More and more planes are heading to the ones. We have an American Airlines plane. We have an E-175. We have a Firecracker United. A lot of planes, a lot of planes. Mark says, do it. Regarding the SFO shows. Yeah, we're going to be here at least once a week.
Let's go to the ones. And no one's going to take off yet because, well, we have a 737 touching down right now. Airlines 2051 flying to Vancouver, a 737 MAX 8. And let's go and take a look at Delta. Now that is Delta 1715 flying to LAX. That's an LA flight. Wow, look at this, we have a heavy, let's go for it. United Airlines 1290, a 777. Five hours, 23 minutes of flight time for this one. A lot of movement. Are you ready? What do we have? United Airlines 1883 flying to San Jose, the Cabo, a 737-800. racing down the runway. Flying to Dallas, Texas, flying to DFW, United Airlines 246. Looks like it's going.
And that one flying in from LAX. That's an LA flight. That's a Los Angeles flight. Yes, LA flight. Oh, we gotta love that. Yes, LA flight. All right, let's get to a few messages, my friends. Let's take a look. How about this? We go for the drag race. Hold on, both of them are going for the sa at the same time. Exact jet, clear favorite. Who's gonna rotate first? There you go. Victory goes to the exact jet. That was an easy call. Zach Jet winning the drag race. Let's fill the chat with drag race. That's why we have that special emoji to celebrate these cool moments, right? Did uh, the uh, the drag race will start the uh, the emoji will start it for the SFO specials because we have the races on the ones. Flying to Portland, little E175. We have SkyWest 3300. Oh goodness, I want to stay with the uh, Air New Zealand though. have Colin celebrating 18 months of channel membership. Howdy, LA Flights. Thank you so much, Colin. Good vibes, my friend. Thank you for that continued support. We have Sean. Look at this. This is an all-access VIP membership to celebrate. Uh, you are a VIP, my friend. Sean, for the past how many months? Hold on. Let me take a look at this. 18, 21 months. There you go. Thank you so much, Sean. We have Stefan, okay, so giving us an update, yes? Yeah? So regarding the uh, Lufthansa, so uh, let's see. Lufthansa has scandals, canceled flights to uh, the popular U.S. destination to San Francisco, so right here, SFO, for the next few days. Yeah, we should see Lufthansa uh, 455, I believe that's the flight number, yes, yeah? the 747 from Frankfurt starting uh, back on Saturday. So for next week, we should have that. We should have uh, we should have the 747 next week.
And some Delta action. Yes, yeah, so let's go for the Delta arrival. We have Delta 2556 flying in from Minneapolis. A how long of a flight? Three hours, 28 minutes of flight time. Okay, we have a heavy arrival. Kevin, uh, 757, Demoni, uh, Poker sending five memberships. Jim, Jim R, don't think I haven't seen those messages, my friends. Thank you so much. And I'm going to give you guys a big shout out after this one touches down, okay? Kevin, 757, uh, Demoni Poker, longtime viewer, sending five memberships. And thank you, Jim. And thank you, Jill. Look at you, Jill, sending five memberships. Good morning. I should say good afternoon to you, Jill. Thank you so much for being with us. Jill, Jill all the way in the UK. Japan Airlines 2. So this is Japan Airlines 2 flying in from Haneda. A nine-hour flight for the big 777-300ER. I think that's the smoothest arrival of all day. That's the type of landing where the captain has to remind you that you're on the ground. It was so smooth. Let's take a look. We have big one. We have a 777 about to cross the ones. Let's take a look. We have United Airlines 875 flying to Haneda. All right, Kevin, thank you so much. I'm putting your message on the screen. Thank you for the one, my friend. Thank you, Kevin. Team Stripes, friend. You gifted Patty. Patty, you are now an elite member, courtesy of Kevin. Dimani Parker, longtime viewer, longtime member, five memberships being sent. You gifted Greg, Malcolm, Vader, Terry Johnson, and Tasha D, a proud member in the Banana Lounge. Thank you so much, Dimani. Good vibes. We have Betty gifting one. Thank you so much, Betty. You gifted Prince. Happy Wednesday, Betty. Thank you for being with us. And Jim R, doing it again every morning, my friend. Thank you, Jim. You gifted one, and you gifted Nat. That's the viewer's name, Nat H. Jill with the five, all the way in the UK. Thank you, Jill, for the five memberships. Shane gifted. This viewer gifted. Thank you so much. Paul, Paul Maynard. We have Crushed Cupcake. That's the viewer's name, gifted by Jill. We love these names. We have Adam, also gifted by Jill. Good vibes. Grandma, are you ready? Grandma Cheryl. It took me a second. Are you ready? I was like, huh, wait, what? Grandma Cheryl. Welcome to all new members. Please thank whomever gifted you. A message from our wonderful moderator and soon to be Grandma, Grandma Cheryl. And 
chat. Thank you so much, Elias. $2 super chat. Thank you for another great stream, Peter. I'm doing my best, friend. Thank you, Elias. So if you remember yesterday, you know, there was no water. The, uh, the tide wasn't in, I think, the entire day. The water started coming in right at the end of yesterday's show, around 7 p.m. But today we have the very nice view. Yes, we have the bay. We have the taxiway. We have the plane. We have the very blue sky. Yes, so we have blue, uh, blue in the bottom, blue on top, providing for some spectacular images today. And thank you so much. I think we have uh, we have the a few more memberships to announce. Thank you, Tom Salpovera. Tom, one membership being gifted. You gifted Aaron. Thank you so much, Tom. We have Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. A shout out to Jenny and Tracy all the way at uh, DFW. You gifted Shufflin. Yes, Shufflin. I love these YouTube names. My goodness. I sound like the worst substitute teacher ever. All right, how about this? I don't think the uh, 777 is going to line up yet, so we'll zoom into this one. We have one, not one, but two planes trying to take off via 28 right. So we have United Airlines, the one you see on your screen. And we also have this one. We have Alaska Airlines, a 737. Planes wanting to take off via 28 right today. but they can't because they're waiting for this one. We'll zoom in and it looks like it's another one of these firecrackers. A United Airlines Airbus A319.
And let's take a look. I don't think the triple seven is lining up. Yeah, there you go. We have another arrival. We just have a steady stream of arrivals right now, so the uh, 777 will not be lining up. Not moving. Not going anywhere. Not yet, at least. We have a Southwest 737 looking straight at us. And Southwest, the next one to come in, Southwest, a 737. And we'll stay focused on this one. We'll stay zoomed in. And no end in sight. The uh, 777 will continue holding short of runway uh, 28 right because we have more and more arrivals. We have Southwest 532 flying in from Los Angeles. That's another LA flight. Right behind this one. Oh, let's take a look. There you go. Right behind this one, we have an Alaska flight from JFK. We also have a flying pencil, a 757-300. Heading towards the ones. We're going to hear the C1, uh, not the C1, the RB211s power up right next to us on runway one right. That happens in just about eh, just about five minutes.
Did you see how that nose just dipped? That 737 hitting the brakes and trying to exit the runway as quickly as possible. That nose just dipped. I'll tell you now, they are trying to uh, slow the aircraft down very quickly. How about this? Let's go to the 757 taxiing to the ones. Looks like we have another 737 Southwest about to take off. There's the 75. And is that the pencil or is that the uh, 200? Let's take a look. 300 flying to Honolulu. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Let's take a look. I think we had uh, Paul Williams. Are you ready? Paul saying, I see a banana plane landing on flight radar. So it's landing across the bay. It's landing at Oakland. I saw your message too late, Paul. I'm so sorry. I would have definitely zoomed in. We've been going through the banana plane withdrawals the past uh, couple days. Yes? We need to see banana planes. this let's take a look I think we have I think we have the triple seven lined up yes we do look at this about to get a move on in fact it's getting a move on right now finally this one has been waiting a long time Flying to Haneda, United Airlines 875 to Haneda. Exact jets, yes. Do you hear that? I hear it. I heard GE 90s starting up somewhere, somewhere around the airport. GE 90s are starting up. Wow, good sound. <laughs> you guys are the, what? You guys are the best. You guys are sending banana super chats for the banana plane that landed all the way in Oakland. And I didn't even zoom into it. You guys, my goodness. Jenny, you're the first one to pull the trigger. Jenny, 
We have Valley Cats, second one to pull the trigger. Betty King, Paul Williams, the Vanilla Lounge is alive and well here at SFO. Thank you, Jill. We have Sanjeev Baga with the Banana Super Sticker. Amazing. Just playing crazy, sending a Banana Super Chat as well. Uh, we have Gordon sending us a $5 Super Chat. The views of the planes landing and taxiing over the water are amazing. One of the reasons why I love SFO. A great time, my friend. I hope you're having a great time. We have Betty. Uh, good vibes and thumbs up. How about this? Do you know something? We're actually, get ready. We're actually on track to cross. There you go. Ah, computer might be a little glitchy. All right. We might be on track to cross 2,000 before the second hour of the live show. Can we cross 2,000 before the second hour of the live show? The second hour is crossed in four minutes. And we are 110 likes away. Getting close to the big 2,000. Elias, thank you so much, sending us the uh, $2 Super Chat. I appreciate that. Been watching the streams on day two today. Yes, Elias, thank you so much. Day two of the SFO edition of LA Flights. Tom Sepulveda, another Super Chat. My dad was the maintenance chief for American Airlines at SFO for 11 years. Love the airport and love the channel. Peter, keep up the good work. Will do, Tom. As always, I do my absolute best. Just playing crazy. Here's the banana super chat. I can't believe it. The banana plane, the banana plane club alive and well here at SFO. Thank you so much, Ari. Ari saying hello, Peter. Sure, I'll hit the like button. Thank you so much. We have Paul Williams saying hit the like button, please. We have Shanta saying hit the like. Come on, everybody. 2,000, only five away. 2,000. Let's take a look. We have Jenny. Paul is keeping his eyes <laughs> peeled for the banana planes. I got that. I got that. Uh, let's take a look. All right, let's go. Good news, we have a whole bunch of planes. We have 787 Dreamliner, we have a 777 heading for either the ones or the 28s. Dreamliner, Dreamliner lo certainly looks like it's heading to the 28s, the 777 heading to the ones. Louise, great sound. No, what do you think? 757, let's take a look. That is the flying pencil flying to Honolulu. We have United Airlines 2380. And it looks like... It looks like... We have the Dreamliner crossing. Crossing the ones. That 787 is heading where? Flying to Singapore. That one flying to Singapore. Can't wait to see it. Power 75 powering up.
Okay, we have a Frontier plane lining up. Oh, the wind's picking up. How about this? We'll abandon the 757. Let's go for not Frontier, but a United Firecracker, the 319. It's looking perfect right now, posing for the cameras. The firecracker is flying to Bozeman, Montana. It's going. Delta action, Delta up next. And also Canadians, look at this. We also have the Canadian 737 Cool Max. Takeoffs on one right. That one out of there, yes. How about this? Let's zoom in to the... Oh, hold on. I think we have the Cool Max about to go. All right, we'll uh, come back to that 787 Dreamliner in just a few moments. I want to see this one. Where do we say the Dreamliner was going to? I believe this one flying to Singapore. Yes, United Airlines 29 flying to Singapore. And thank you, Jim. Once again, thank you so much. I miss the bananas, a.k.a. Spirit and Air Tahiti Nui at SFO. I do love seeing Frontier. It brings me back memories flying on the older Frontier uh, before. Uh, the uh, demise in 1986, the older Frontier Airlines. Thank you, Jim.
Wow, look at this big one. From one to another, let's go ahead and take a look at this big triple seven taking off right next to us. Here it goes, everybody. Flying to Narita. It's the race to Narita. Let's go for it. Who do we have? All the pound. This one flying to Narita. So it is the race to Narita. Who's going to win? My money is on United Airlines. I have to say. I have to admit. Uh, let's take a look. Wow, the sound. Listen, I have to tell you something. So. You know, for takeoffs like the, the big, uh, you know, the big triple sevens, fully loaded planes, the 300s, the 200s, the sound is so piercing. Are you ready? It's hard to describe. This location really is one of the best for AF geeks. I mean, you feel the vibrations just hit your body. You feel, you feel it in your body. The vibrations, the sound waves, it's just so loud. You feel the ground shaking. Are you ready? That triple seven, when it was taking off, ground was shaking. Super cool. It's a great AV gig experience right here. Very, very great uh, AV gig experience. Look at this. We might do it again. All right. We might do it again, and I think we have a drag race going on. CRJ lifting off first winner in the world famous drag race. Wow, look at that. All right, how about this? We'll zoom in to the uh, the Pound triple seven. So not one, but two triple sevens wanting to cross the ones and doesn't look like they're heading to the uh, to the one, sadly. And let's take a look. We have Axel. We appreciate that. Thank you so much, friend. One membership being sent to the LA Flies channel and you gifted Jerome, yes, Jerome, gifted by Axel. Welcome to LA Flights, friend. We have Debbie, gifted by Bobby. Thank you so much, Bobby. Bobby Baker, gifting one. Carrick, sending one membership. Thank you, Carrick. Sit back, relax, my friend. Enjoy the show today. And Monica, thank you so much, Monica. That's one for LA Flights. Thompson pulled it up with the one. And Jenny, thank you, Jenny. Another drag race, here we go. I like 
this controller. Are you ready? The tower controller right now, that, whoever it is, loves drag races. We need more of this. Here we go. Who's going to rotate first? It looks, uh, it looks like the victory. It looks like the W goes to the E-175. E-175 heading to Las Vegas, Nevada, winning the drag race. Beating United Airlines 2355, flying to Dallas. That's the drag race. Crossing the ones we have on the pone. JetBlue lining up. We're going to go from the one lining up on one right to the arrival. We have JetBlue 1833 flying in from Boston. So that's the one from Boston, yes? Oh, wow, look at that. Hold on. Big triple seven. Clip for takeoff. I'm hearing it. Sixteen flying to JFK. We ha still have the 787 Dreamliner. We have on the pound. We actually have, okay, so it's not going to be one, two, three. It's going to be three heavies taking off via 28 right. And it looks like they're starting to move, yes? So we have United 35 flying to Osaka on the right side, correct, on the left side of the screen, right in the middle. We have the one flying to Singapore. And on the left, the one flying to Narita. Drag race, let's take a look. Possible drag race. South 
Southwest Airlines getting off the line a little too slow. Looks like the W is going to go to American, 1588 flying to DFW. Let's go ahead and zoom into American. The clear winner in today's drag race. Hey, I'll say it again. I really like this tower controller. This tower controller, whoever it is, loves drag races. That's what we were lacking yesterday, the drag races. Okay, it looks like we have movement, and the one flying to Singapore is off the line. Boy, look at this. Wind is uh, picking up. Yes? Wind's picking up. And we're going to have Big Cathay. Look at this. We have Cathay Pacific taxiing right next to us. It's the A350-900 flying to Hong Kong today. This one arrived a few minutes before we went live. You can smell the exhaust. Are you ready? <laughs> you can smell it. If you like that sort of thing, you can definitely smell it. It's uh, it's it's an incredible AFCIG experience out here. I'm telling you this. Let's see, who do we have lining up? On the pound, get ready, it's going. And keep in mind, we have another 777 wanting to take off. All right, let's go and zoom in to the one heading to Narita. Just about nine or ten hours to Japan.
Well, it's a Minta Cafe. Look at this. Very picturesque right now. Hold on, give me a second. Is going. I think the uh, Cool Max is going. We can't miss it. I think, let's take a look. I'm pretty sure the little E175 on one right will be taking off in just a bit. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. I think we have this one. Letting go. Wow, look at that. You can really, uh, really hear that the wind is picking up. the triple seven will go to another one from one triple seven to another and shane thanks so much for being with us sending us the banana super chat yes believe it or not we actually had a banana super chat train uh, here at SFO, it was for an arrival happening in Oakland. Paul Williams sent the message. I missed it. I didn't zoom into it, but nevertheless, banana super chats were sent. TV Spanch, as we have uh, withdrawals from seeing those banana planes. We have Astronaut Bubble 63. Thank you so much for joining us.
pending arrival. Are you ready? Astronaut Bubble 63, Peter. Hello, my friend. Wishing you a great day. Counting down the days until June to be home again and stopping to see the greatest half geek host. June. Let's take a look. Only a few months away. We can't wait for that. A sticker's bag. Are you ready? Bag full of goodies waiting for you, Shane. Talking about those sticker bags, right? The other goodie bags. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out of them. Uh, I have to make some more, my goodness. Uh, I didn't expect to have so many viewers stop by yesterday. And, well, almost every single one of them getting stickers. I'm out for today. I'm out of the stickers bag. But I'll make more. I'll make more. We'll have some for uh, the Saturday Clutters Park episode. The big Clutters Park show. You know, I was supposed to put them on sale, right? But... I never did. I ended up giving out the uh, LA Flight Sticker Fortune out for free. I think I've handed out thousands of stickers by now. My goodness, a whole bunch of stickers. Throughout the two years of plane spotting, thousands and thousands of stickers. Goodness. And every single one from uh, everything, every single one, different designs and good and. Uh, I think the latest batch of stickers I had, a uh, stickers bag, a bumper sticker for the cars. Hey Thomas, are you ready? Are you watching right now, my friend? Give me a yes, give me a no. It's so hard. Listen. It's, you know, hold on, you know, Thomas, a long time viewer, a long time member, you know, if I miss your message, uh, not just Thomas, but if any, it's so hard for me to look at the messages. I try my best to give every single one of you a shout out because you deserve it. And Thomas, a big apologies, my friend. Uh, Peter, you missed my 18-month anniversary on Monday, but just wanted to thank you for continuing to give us these amazing shows. I'm doing these shows running on Red Bull, running on Starbucks, uh, running on junk food. I'm happy that you're enjoying these SFO specials, uh, the shows in Los Angeles. Thank you, Thomas, okay? And thank you to everyone. I'm so sorry for missing that message and missing the membership milestone as well. Goodness. Peter's running on the Red Bull and, well, nothing else really. All right, we have a couple of heavies, Cafe Pacific and the 777. Oh, hey, did I mention today was going to be a short day? I, th I think I forgot to mention that to you guys. I think today will be a short one. Peter wants to start driving uh, back to Los Angeles pretty early today. I don't want to get home at 4 in the morning, if you know what I mean. So to prevent the host from getting home at 4 in the morning, I think today we're going to be ending it a little early. Elizabeth to Cafe. That's a plane that we don't see at LAX. We have to come here at, uh, come here to SFO to see this one. Cafe Pacific flying to Hong Kong in A350-900.
I doubt the Taiwanese will be lining up anytime soon. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Clear for takeoff? Oh, I think we have a CRJ. That's why. Windy. All right, let's go and take a look. Taiwanese 777 landing up. Wait, what? No, it's uh, holding short. Hold short of 28 right. There you go, hold short because we have a Delta aircraft on short final. Flying in from Seattle, Washington. Alright, clear for takeoff, here we go. Flying to Richmond, Virginia. Oh, look at this very, uh, very good looking exact jet coming into land. Oh, let's see, I don't think we're going to be able to see the registration number of the exec jet. And listen, okay, so the exact jet's still on the runway. We have Aero Mexico on final approach. Keep an eye out on this one. It could be a go around. I think we might have it. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, exact jet, where is it? Okay, exiting the runway as we speak.
Okay, look at this. Okay, so we have a triple seven. What a surprise. Here comes another one. This one, I wouldn't be surprised. Is it flying to Frankfurt? No. Flying to Hong Kong. Let's take a look. There you go. That one right there. United Airlines 869 flying to Hong Kong. Let's go for the heavy. Who do we have? United 34 flying in from Osaka, Japan. There it is, big one, a big triple seven to Hong Kong. We have Kaz Linda. Yes, am I pronouncing that name right? I hope I am sending us a super chat. And I'm pretty sure that's your first super chat for LA Flies. Congrats for that. Kaz Linda. Yes, Linda says new here, but already addicted. Thank you, Peter. I am addicted as well. I'm addicted to the one more plane. I always have to. <laughs> You're going to hear me say that a lot. Are you ready, Linda? I'm addicted to the one more plane. Welcome to LA Flights. We have Texas Girl, a $10 super sticker coming in. Thank you so much, Texas Girl. I'm happy you're having a great time here at the SFO edition of LA Flights. It's a breezy day. It is a breezy day today. So we have another one. This one is a 777-300ER. Yes, correct me if I'm wrong. Let's see. It's a little far away from us. So this one, according to the cheat sheet, is flying to Beijing. United Airlines 888, the aircraft a 777. And this one, getting closer to a right flying to Hong Kong arriving in just a few minutes we have another triple seven flying in from Paris it's United Airlines 8 and 94 this is the one from Paris Flight 984. A 10 hour, 45 minute flight for this one.
We're going to stay with the one flanked Beijing. And nope, I was kidding. We're going to go to this one. We're going to go to a blue plane. How about this? We're seeing a whole bunch of triple sevens. How about one that doesn't uh, look like a United triple seven? How about this? How about complete opposite? A very blue triple seven. And this one is, well, heading towards us. And hopefully taxis next to us on Taxiway Lima. That's the closest taxiway to us. Taxiway Lima. Either that or hopefully it takes off on runway one right. I'll take that as well. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, Jim, when did you send this message? My goodness. So we have a banana plane taking off from Oakland in 30 minutes. Jim, I am going to try my best to zoom in to that uh, very yellow plane at Oakland. And triple seven getting a little closer. How about this? We'll zoom in. And we also have American Airlines to keep us company. We have American flying. Oh my goodness! Tracking app not not giving me the flight information. Sadly. Oh, we have American in A321. Uh, let's take a look. So thank you, Jim, and thank you so much, Ian. Ian sending us a $5 super chat. Peter, great work. Thank you so much for what you do. I absolutely love your passion and enthusiasm. Keep it up. Thank you, Ian. And listen, my friend, you know, I've been running on Red Bull. Normally when I'm rested, I, you know, am a little more lively. Ian, thank you for being part of the LA Flights family, friend. We have Brian all the way in DFW. It's been a few shows since I've tuned in. Peter, haven't forgotten you guys. Sadly, my best friend, 25 years of 25 years passed away this week. Oh, my goodness. Uh, my sincere condolences to you, friend. Are you ready? Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Brian. A long-time viewer, a long-time member. It's always a rough day when we're hearing, when we know that someone in the LA Flights family is in pain. I'm sure the LA Flights family will send you a whole bunch of friendly vibes messages and messages of support. Brian, all the best, okay? I'm so sorry to hear that. United Airlines 1413 touching down right now, flying in from Boston, Massachusetts. And listen, I'm very excited. I'm very happy to see the live comment section just full of the most positive, friendliest messages heading towards one of our longtime viewers, uh, heading to his direction, heading his way. Lovely. Look at that. The chat is full of the friendly vibes. Big gust of wind. Big gust of wind. And it's on the move. The one flying to Beijing.
And it looks like the 777 will uh, taxi via Lima. So that is the closest taxiway to us. All right, here it comes. It's a little hard to see, but there it comes. Here it comes. Big 777 on the closest taxiway. Here it comes. We'll come back to, well, all right, how about this? We'll just stay with it. We'll stay with it. Staying with the 777. Look at that, it's right next to us too. Jeez. What a sight. I'm telling you, SFO is one of the best places uh, to do plane spotting. It is av geek heaven out here. How about this? Can we cross 3,000 likes before the Korean 777 takes off? We are 500 likes away. It's going to be a little difficult, yes, but listen, if you haven't done so, please, a friendly reminder, the sunburnt host reminds the LA Flights family that by hitting the like button, it's the easiest way to help LA Flights. Easiest way, my friends. It's easy and it's free and it literally takes two seconds. 3,000, the goal, before that one takes off, and we're going to need everyone's help. Let's do it for the second day at SFO. Look at that, big 777 still in spotlight just for a few seconds. Oh, well, there you go. Let's go back to the Korean 777, yes? Wow, wind is picking up. All right, let me zoom out just a touch. And Brian, uh, very nice. You know, I saw so many messages uh, heading your way. And listen, that's the power of the LA Flights family. Brian, we have your back. I want to send a special thank you to Laurie. Are you ready? You sent five memberships several minutes ago. Laurie, please tell me you're still here. Laurie Rose, always watching LA Flights, never missing a show. You are such a kind person five memberships heading to the home of the one more plane yes laurie not the only one we also have mark razor a platinum plane member you gifted scott mark we haven't seen you the past few days have you been watching the replays uh, did you uh, uh hopefully in the lurkers lounge mark platinum plane member we haven't seen your platinum plane here in san francisco until well today Hold on, we might have seen it yesterday. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mark Razor, it's been a long, uh, it's been a long, uh, it's been a long week. There you go, Whiskey says, cool, more memberships being gifted. I echo that comment, very nice. Okay, my friends, we're getting close. Let's do it for the SFO edition. Let's do it for back-to-back -back days. Let's do it for the double header. 3,000 likes, 300 away now. It's only 300. We need 300 of you to hit the like before that 777 takes off. We're running out of time.
Let's take a look. American Airlines 1264 flying in from DFW. Thank you so much, Sam, for the update. Next arrival to come in. We have someone taking off. It's Alaska. There you go. right now it's really breezy look at that look at the corrections the the uh, 737 is trying to do it's listen it's a pretty good crosswind right now for the takeoffs a lot of rudder being used on that takeoff let's go for air china look at this we haven't seen this one we didn't see this one yesterday this one i'm guessing flying in from beijing yes peter's correct Air China 985, flying in from Beijing. Look at this, the gateway to Asia. South Korean 777 as well in the shot. Okay, from one to another, let's go for Korean. And it looks like we have United Airlines on the move. Take a look. We have a big triple seven arriving. The triple flying in from Newark, we have United Airlines fourteen ninety nine. American. 
We've got to go for the next arrival. Big one. We have Qatar Airways flying in from Doha City. 15 hour flight today of an aircraft. The aircraft is an A350-1000. Very loud plane that you saw, that you heard take off. You didn't see it, but you heard power up. It was American Airlines 16 flying to JFK in A321. But I decided to go for this one, the bigger one, the A350-1000. We still have Korean holding short. And another heavy right behind Qatar. So it looks like Korean will have to wait several more minutes before it can take off. Okay, we're going to be zooming in to the uh, 777 arrival any second. How about this? Let's go right now to the one from Newark. And Qatar Airways, as I speak, exiting to eight right. United Airlines 900. Did I say this one is flying in from Newark? I'm sorry. I apologize. This one flying in from London Heathrow. Uh, United Airlines 900. There we go. There it is. We we're going to get the two for one special with the Korean. A 10 hour, 25 minute flight for this one. Okay, it looks like Korean is finally on the move. And I've got a clear for takeoff on one right, United 2309. Oh wow, one right clear for takeoff. This one right here. I wasn't expecting that. Drag race. Both of them clear for takeoff at the same time. Here we go. Look at that, that's perfection. My money's on the 737. Let's take a look. E-175 takes the win, it takes the victory. By far. There you go. Who doubted the E-175? Not me. I never doubt those planes. Mighty, mighty planes. Are you ready? Peter never doubts the E-175. I 
Oh, do you remember the challenge, everybody? We had a like challenge. We have to cross 3,000. 200 of you need to hit the like button. Literally in the next few seconds, the like challenge uh, was to cross 3,000 before the takeoff of that 777. Can we do it? I'm going to have to stay with the 777 now. Are you ready? My goodness. I forgot about it. Uh, 200 likes, 200 of you. Let's see how close we can get to the how close we can get to the big 3,000. I'll stay with the Korean as long as I can. Let's take a look. Ah, oh, goodness. All right, I'm gonna have to leave it. All right, I'll refresh the page. Let's see how many likes we ended up getting. 150 to go. We're going up there. Come on. 3,000. One last way for takeoff up to 227. There you go. All right, I'll refresh my page. We'll see how many likes we got. Uh, let's see, we have the Delta Firecracker getting a move on. How about this? Let's go for the 757-300, the flying pencil. Flying in from Chicago, we have United Airlines Then we can go for the Qatar Airways plane. So we have a whole bunch of planes. Look at this. We have a couple of uh, United planes. But we'll zoom into this one for now. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have the United Planes, let's, uh, yes, we have a couple 737s, we even have Frontier. All right, let's see. It's uh, on the runway, yes, hold on, we have the 737. Let's see, backtracking on the runway, United Airlines 305. Take around 4:30. Yeah. 
Good day, United. Okay, so this one flying to Austin. Yes, United Airlines 1116, a 737 MAX 9. Oh, wow, did you see what I... I just saw something very special. Let's take a look. It's a big one, and it's heading to the ones. That makes it even more special. We love it when these planes are taking off on the closest runway to us. One right, one left. This is the one that I was talking about. The big one, 787 Dream Liner. Where's it going? And this one flying to Dulles. A787-8, United Airlines 1738. Before anything else, let's zoom into the Frontier plane because I think this is our, what, first opportunity to zoom into the, uh, to the very colorful Frontier planes. Who do we have today? Uh, let's take a, oh my goodness, is that Chester? Hold on, Chester's famous today. Look at this. Hold on, is that Chester the squirrel? I think it is. Well, look at that. We put a uh, listen. The TWA Hotel, right? They're putting up. Uh, they're putting up on their Instagram page uh, pictures of Captain Ken, right, holding up the uh, you know the New York City vibe stickers. Captain Ken's getting famous, right? Uh, Chester the squirrel is getting put on the airlines. What do you think? Where's my picture? Goodness. <laughs> Where's my picture? I'm, je I'm jealous of I'm jealous of Chester. I'm jealous of Captain Ken. My goodness. All right, well, there you go. That's uh, Chester the Squirrel. If you don't know, Chester the Squirrel is our favorite plane spotting companion from one of our favorite locations at Los Angeles International. So we're based in Los Angeles. Yes, that's where we do our uh, most of our shows from. LAX plane spotting. It's just, you know, yesterday and today we're traveling to San Francisco to spicing, uh, uh, spice up the things, right? Spice up uh, the, uh, the plane spotting, yes? Well, Chester, famous. Wow. I'll say it again. Where's my picture? <laughs> Where's my picture? All right. All right, Peter. Stop being jealous of a squirrel. Chester the Squirrel, what do you think about that? I'll take it. Oh, there you go. There goes, uh, there goes uh, Chester. 
All right, who are we going to zoom into now? I think we have the Dreamliner. We also have a possible drag race shaping up. We'll see what happens with the drag race. There you go, the big smile. The big smile from the United. Okay, so United Airlines will not be taking off, not yet at least. We do have an arrival. All right, an update for all of you. We have Emirates, big one, a big plane, Emirates 225. We'll be flying overhead in the next few minutes. Look at this. What an epic race. Please release both of them at the same time. How many peanut butter cups do we have to send the tower for them to release both of these planes at the same time? Drag race, an epic race between the Dreamliner and the 757. Let's see who gets released first. Thank you, Bobby. I saw your message, my friend. Inbound, Emirates 225 in just a few minutes. Thank you, Bobby, for that super chat. All right, here we go. One left. Okay, one left, clear for takeoff. Give us one right. Come on. Uh, no, I think we're going to miss it. No, no drag race. Come on. Dreamlight on the move. That would have been an epic two-for-one special, I have to be honest with you. My goodness. 
All right, missed opportunity. I'll take it any day of the week. At least we got to see a Dreamliner taking off, right? How about this? Uh, do we have another 777? Yes, we do. Look at this. We have United <laughs> Airlines. Oh, my goodness. Hold on a minute. It's uh, it's flying right above us. I'm going to do my absolute best. There's a lot of clouds, though. All right, I'm going to do my best. A lot of clouds above us. Here we go. All right, let's see. Let's... Oh, it's flying directly above us, my friends. Emirates A380, give me a few seconds. I will pan the camera over to the uh, uh, to the 380. It's just it's flying directly above us. All right, let's see. All right, I have it. Give me a few minutes, and we'll zoom in to the uh, A380 as it lands, of course, as it lands. Because we're zooming into it right now. Peter, are you losing your mind? I think he is. I think Peter is losing his mind. Yeah, I also, th I also think that. Okay, Captain White. About five minutes. Give me five minutes, and we'll see the uh, A380 on final. All right, pretty far away. Uh, let's take a look. We have a Delta. Yes, we have Delta. Take Who off. else? One right, Delta 977. All right, clear for takeoff. Okay, really, really, really uh, windy now. Okay, so we have, it looks like a 777, yes. Heading towards us, we can't wait for that. A lot of planes, a lot of planes headed our way. Well, not only planes, but also, let's take a look. Uh, let's see some, a Blackhawk helicopter. We won't, be, we won't be able to zoom into it because it's directly behind us. Okay, this one's stealing the spotlight from the uh, Dreamliner. 
we have United Airlines 649 flying to Newark. Japan Airlines will... Uh, there's a good chance. I, I think there's a good chance of it taking off on one right. Oh, let's see. It's all about timing, my friends. We have Air France uh, touching down in the next few seconds. All right, how about this? We'll go and zoom in to the uh, 649, and there you go, one right, clear for takeoff. The big one, triple seven. And good news, we have the Japan Airlines 787. Okay, Japan Airlines will be taking off on one right, but it's all about timing, my friends, okay? So we are going to be zooming in to the 380 in just a few seconds. Thank you, GE, sending us a $2 super chat. There's not a lot of Southwest planes at SFO. A handful, are you ready? A handful of Southwest flights uh, every single day. Absolutely. We have Bobby. Thank you so much. So the eighth radio you're talking about landing in just a few seconds. We have Liza Wolf, a Brazilian Real Super Chat. One more great show, Peter, as always. Welcome to the one more show, Lice. Are you ready? Larry Rose, a $5 Super Chat coming in. If I, uh, I'm bringing Biscoff cookies to the Lurker's Lounge. Oh, my goodness. You're going to make me want to go to the Lurker's Lounge, Laurie. You don't want that. The show's over if that happens. Janice, $10 Super Chat in honor of Brian Henry's friend. The good friends are precious. Sorry for your loss. Brian, I hope you're still out there, my friend. You're having a lot of wonderful messages uh, being sent your way. The L.A. Flights family, the kindest, friendliest family around. Let's take a look. We have Reed Aviation. Thank you so much for the 15 months, my friend. 15 months of LA Flights membership. We have Vincent. 11 months. You're only one away from entering the Golden Plains Quadrant. Happy to be here for 11 months. Keep up the awesome work. Peter and Josh. Awesome plane spotting. Thank you, Vincent. Good vibes, my friend. Yes? Okay. Let's zoom in to the Airbus A380. Sadly, I do think we're going to miss Japan Airlines, but I think all of you prefer to see the A380, yes? We see 787 Dreamliners a million times, especially here at SFO, but we only have two of these every single day. All right, I'm going to zoom in. Wow, wind is picking up. Okay, so if the wind keeps increasing and hitting the camera like this, I'm going to have to bend in the zoom, and we won't be this close. I right, hope wind, calm down. It's
It's all about timing. 787 Dreamliner has not gotten the move on, still waiting. It's a lineup and wait for Japan Airlines on runway one right. The plane that you heard was a uh, United Airlines A320. Okay, that's Emirates. Three hours and it takes off. All about timing. Yes, Japan Airlines being a very nice plane and waiting for the LA flight's cameras to be finished with the Emirates arrival. Thank you so much, Jill, sending one membership to the LA Flights family. That's one. And we have Janice, Janice Williams. Thank you so much for the one. We absolutely love and appreciate the memberships being gifted. Three hours time, right? I think that's uh, right around the time that it takes off. Pretty quick turnaround time for the uh, Supers. Okay, there goes Japan Airlines, and I think we have a drag race shaping up, possibly, hopefully. Uh, a couple of United planes, one is an E-175, and the other one a 737. Drag race, hopefully, we'll see what happens. We'll see who gets released first. There you go, launch control for the E-175.
go. Not disappointing, that one. Let's go to the 737 United. Oh, Roger. Good day, Scout. There you go. Flying to San Diego, California, that one. This we'll zoom in to the Dragonfly getting a move on. It's the headache in a can. Get ready. What do you think? Is it a winner? Give me a yes, give me a no. Is it a winner? That's the California livery. Who do we have? It's United Airlines 749 flying to Newark. That's gonna be a big five hour, 30 minute flight. I don't like it. Uh, that's my opinion. What do you think? Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it, I have to be honest. All right, clip for takeoff. Here we go. Are you ready? Can we take a look at the flight number? Uh, we were supposed to have first officer citation. That's how he wants to be referred as. Uh, first officer citation shine the light for us. And by the way, uh, clear for takeoff. This is a rolling takeoff. This is what we call a turn and burn flying to Charlotte. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Rolling takeoff. Kind of. Let's go for the super. Yes, we have Emirates. We have Emirates 225. Flying in from Dubai, of course. This one heading to the international terminal. Turnaround time is pretty quick. It's about two hours, uh, just about two hours, 30 minutes. Uh, the uh, pretty quick turnaround.
plane ever. Very nice. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have a chandelier. And listen, uh, first officer citation, right? Uh, told me that he might. Might. Uh, give us a wing wave. Where is it, though? I, I don't see it. Hold on. ASP 510, yes? Where is it? Where's the plane at? Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, so uh, transponder has not been activated. I, I can't see it, Evan, but the uh, takeoff time is for 3.40 p.m. Okay, so 3.40 p.m. and we'll see first officer citation uh, shine the light and possibly give us a wing wave. Can't wait for that. Listen, first officer citation said mm, slight wing wave it's not going to be the biggest thing in history it's not it's not going to be like lufthansa uh, a few weeks ago at lax you know just giving us the massive wave the biggest wave i've ever seen but you know it's going to be something i can't wait to see it can't wait to see it dreamliner yes can we take a look at this one please we have united airlines 2627 flying to chicago Looks like we have a dragonfly pushing from uh, the terminal over there. Do you see it? Pre-taxi checklist being done right now. That's going to be a takeoff. Paul Williams sending a banana super chat. For which one? Paul, are you ready? Uh, do we have a banana plane landing in uh, at Oakland? I think we do. Yes. Uh, let's see. Banana plane. If I see it, Paul, are you ready? I'll 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 zoom into it. Landing or takeoff? Jeez, Louise. I'm sorry. I can't. I don't see it. Paul Williams, Jim. You guys are absolutely amazing. My goodness. The Banana Club is alive and well. All the way here in San Francisco. We're celebrating a plane. That is landing several miles away. Well, let's see. As I speak, I'm trying to find arena. That's why my tracking is horrible. Goodness, I can't see it. All right, how about this? Let's go for the next arrival, yes? Next arrival is the Horizon Retro Livery. Very nice little E-175. The one that looks like a monorail. Like an old, like 90s, like 90s monorail. You know what I'm talking about, right? In fact, it looks like it would be uh, on a monorail here in San Francisco in the 80s or 90s. Uh, maybe it's just me. I have with us. We'll leave that, that one. And we'll go for not the exact jet. Well, all right, we'll go for the exact jet.
computer doing the executive decision and filming the exec jet when, you know, while Peter wanted to zoom into the 787 Dreamliner, Peter zooming into the exec jet. Okay, 787 time. Let's go for that one. United Airlines 2627 flying to Chicago. My goodness, what's that plane flying above us? Wow, look at that. It's a 747. It's Skyly's cargo flying in, flying from LAX to Shaman, arriving in 14 hours, 46 minutes. It's going to be super difficult to zoom into, though. Wow, though. My goodness, the contrail just extends for hundreds of miles. <laughs> My goodness. We'll zoom into it. Don't worry. Clear for takeoff, yes? Wow, though. Everything is about timing, though. Okay. I want to show you this. Wow, hold on. Where is it? Jeez Louise, hold on. Try to see the 747, there it is. This better be worth it, we're missing a Dreamliner. There it is. I had to show it to you. I couldn't resist. Let's go to the 787 taking off. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. You know Peter's not afraid of the zoom, right? United Airlines 1010 flying in from Chicago, a three hour, 40 minute flight. The one coming in. Go on, United Oh, I think I hear a whale.
let's go for a very rare Southwest. You know, we were just talking about talking about this with uh, with the GE. Very rare Southwest. Only a handful come in every day. Good day, Executive One Five Six. Good luck. Dare I say, drag race? No, no drag race. Absolutely not. Okay, Alaska 28 flying to JFK, 737 MAX 9. <laughs> starting up somewhere somewhere out there somewhere at SFO I, I hear the GE90 starting up let's take a look I think we have a JetBlue aircraft yes JetBlue this one we'll see if it's heading anywhere where is it going we have JetBlue flying to Boston that's gonna be a big one almost a six-hour flight to Boston and let's take a look. I think, uh, okay, so as I come back to the comments, I think viewers are trying to get my attention. I think a banana plane. Yes, Jim, there's your message. I'm so sorry I missed it. Uh, Jim, uh, plane headed for takeoff from Oakland at 150. So that was several minutes ago. A banana plane. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm sorry about that, Jim. We have Daniel sending us a uh, $2 super chat. Not bad with Southwest. The, uh, the Cali livery, better. So we were talking about the, uh, you know, the headache in a can, the 757 United Airlines, the California, the New York liveries. I don't like it. It kind of gives me a headache, hence the nickname, headache in a can. And Daniel talking about the Southwest. A lot of Banana Club members. Are you ready? You thought you weren't going to hear Banana Club here, or, uh, here during the SFO edition. Well, we have Paul Williams firing first, trying to get my attention. Jim... 
Ballycat and Jill. Nice to see you in the Banana Lounge. Sorry about that, guys. We have Ball Point Carrot. Yes, signing us a five dollar super chat. If you could plane spot from any airport in the world, which would it be? Ah, uh, let's say. Do you know some? Uh, you know, we could always say the obvious London. You know, London is just insane. I'm talking about Heathrow. Uh, let's see. My favorite is JFK. My goodness, you just have, you know, such a luxurious hotel. You have an incredible observation point uh, right, at, right at the roof uh, of the TWA hotel, right next to the pool, right next to the pool bar. A380s, you can't get closer to the A380s anywhere in the world. And if you can, it's not by much. Places I haven't been. Haneda. Top of my list. Love to visit. Love the plane spot from there. So I think Haneda is uh, 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 really high on my list. Let's take a look. Who do we have? We have JetBlue. Oh my goodness, we have JetBlue. Yes, flying to Boston. Any Boston viewers out there? Are you ready? I'll put your message on the screen if we have any Bostonians. CK, there you go. You thought, listen, you thought you weren't going to hear Banana Club here or, uh, here at SFO, but there it is, CK Rodin. For those of you tuning in, uh, today it's going to be a short one. Um, I mean, short show is really getting thrown out the window every hour that passes by. I mean, we're crossing four hours already. Uh, Marcel and Cologne saying, have a safe flight back to LAX. So that's why. You know, it's going to be a short day today. Uh, you know, it's been a double header. And, well, you know, Peter doesn't want to arrive at Los Angeles at 4 in the morning. So, you know, having said that, we're going to call it a day, you know, pretty early. Uh, I do want to see the exec jet taking off. I want to see Captain Citation. Uh, correction, First Officer Citation. Shine the lights and possibly he told uh you know first officer citation told me hey you know maybe we'll give you a slight wing wave so that's something to look out for let's see what happens also flight attendant came by are you ready a flight attendant came by and said hey you know i didn't know this existed you know live plane spotting you know etc etc and i'm like oh yeah la flights check us out flight attendant told me that you know the flight attendant will be on a flight out of San Francisco after 4, almost 5 p.m. And I told the flight attendant, oh, yeah, don't worry, we'll be here. So, jeez. United Airlines 5496 heading to Aspen. It's a CRJ 700. I, fly, I told the flight attendant, yeah, don't worry, I'll be out here goodness all right what do we have <laughs> if you're listening oh my goodness i'm gonna do my best okay if you're listening you know who i'm talking to i'll do my best Jet Blue, this one on one right, flight to Boston. This one crossing, is that the one heading to, oh wow, we haven't given you the uh, flight information for this one yet. We have United Airlines 300 flying to Honolulu, a 777-200 ER.
Let's take a look. Uh, let's see. I think we have... Oh, wow. Look at this. Hold on. Let's go to this camera. Big one. Hear this. Look at that. That could be a, a thumbnail for a future SFO show right there. Wow, look at this. Hold on a minute. We have... This one. That's the one heading to where? That's the one flying to Honolulu. United Airlines. Goodness, everybody wanting some stickers. I, I I ran out of stickers. Goodness. Peter ran out of stickers. It's like a, you know something? When we do these trips out, right? When we do these trips to like, uh, you know, San Francisco, New York, I really am amazed uh, to see how many people really watch the show. So, you know, I'm out here in San Francisco, you know, I think it was last Tuesday, right? And, you know, out of nowhere, I did this show, right? It was a surprise show from San Francisco. No one knew I was doing an SFO special. And, you know, we had viewers coming by. This week, it's been like a meet and greet almost. I mean, it's been incredible. Uh, the amount of viewers that have come out as, uh, here at SFO and, you know, saying, hey, Peter, you know, watch the show and stuff. And it means a lot to me. I love meeting you guys. And listen, if you see me busy and stuff, listen. Just tap me, give me the friendly tap on the shoulder, all right? I love to meet you guys. You guys are the best. So whenever I travel to SFO or all these other locations, New York and stuff, it really opens my eyes to see how many viewers we really have. I mean, it's it's amazing, and I feel, I feel so grateful for that. We love the LA Flights family. You guys rock. You're the best. The best Afghan house in the entire world. Crazy, too. You guys are crazy, too, because you follow me everywhere. If I go to SFO, there you are. Ginny's there. Paul Williams is there. Ann Wilson is there sending those banana super chats. Bally Cat, listen. You guys are the crazy viewers. Thank you so much. I love the crazy viewers. Let's take a look. We have a small exec jet. We love the exec jet. Just have to have more sticker bags. Are you ready?
All right, that is the exact jet. Okay, we have a big one. Who do we have? Let's take a look. Zippy flying in from Narita. I love Zippy. Okay, here it comes. Let's zoom in to Zippy. Flying in from Narita, yes. Eight hours, 40 minutes of flight time, A787-8. Ah, drag race. Are you ready? Let's go for it. Alaska or United? Who is going to take off first? Drag race. The victory goes to United. There you go. Drag race, everybody. I could, you know something? I saw that in the corner of my eye, and I saw that in the corn, uh, corner of my eye, right? The drag race, and I couldn't resist. All right, here goes. Zippy. Zippy, yes, Zippy Dreamliner. Let's go for this one, yes. This one still has to wait a few more minutes. Several of rivals coming in. Okay, we have the one heading to Honolulu lining up. Oh, look at this. We have, uh, let's see. All right, we'll stay with this one. Oh, look at this. Zippy. Okay, I keep forgetting. Zippy will be taxiing right next to us as it heads to the international terminal. This one is already clear for takeoff. Yes, should be. I don't think it's going to be a lineup and wait. There it goes.
Okay, looks like little Avianca is going to be lining up. Little Avianca flying to San Salvador. Yes. Taka 563 on your screen. Also the uh, Zippy. Zippy Dreamliner. I love Zippy. Zip is a great airline. And cheap. And by cheap, I mean low cost. All right, Taka. Let's see, it should take off pretty quick. Taco 563, there's no one on final approach. And there it goes. Well, let's take a look. I think we have an Atari Ferrari Delta Airlines A757. There it is. Captain Ken Mobile. You know how we we haven't seen Captain Ken a long time. Uh, let's take a look. I haven't seen Captain Ken. I hope he's doing A-OK. -okay. Oh, I know where he is. Hold on. I just, uh, Max39 told me. My goodness. <laughs> I don't know if he wants to make that public, but uh, I know exactly where he's at. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so we have this one. Uh, we have a 757 and a plane that we're not seeing yet. It's a 777. Get ready. It's flying to London. United Airlines 901. Right now taxiing on... Uh, let's take a look. What's, uh, what's the... What's the... Uh, the taxiway. Hold on. Taxiway Charlie. So it's taxiway Charlie. It's uh, the farthest taxiway. Big one, big triple seven. Look at this. Hold on a minute. We have something. So this is th uh, the departures that uh, Paul Williams and Jim, Jim R, were trying to get me to zoom into. We have Oakland plane spotting. Are you ready? Oakland flights. Hold on. Let me. Uh, we have a big triple seven taking off. Uh oh. There you go. Uh oh. There you go. Come on, camera. Camera's angry at me. Are you ready? Oakland. Uh, LA Flights Oakland Edition. There you go. Looks like we're going to have a shine the lights. That's what we needed. Are you ready? 
Thank you to Gus. At the gate, still, we have United Airlines 758 as I lose the uh, the triple seven. But there you go, the uh, triple out of Oakland. Okay. Shine the light, my friends. Let me give you an update. Oh, you know, I love a good, uh, a good shine the light. Okay, let me give you an update. Uh, shine the light, yes? Okay. United Airlines 758, it's still at the gate. Okay, still at the gate. And we have the viewer, right? The viewer is called Tourist in Calgary. That's his, uh, his or her uh, YouTube account. Tourist in Calgary, seating... What's the seat number? Okay, 44 Foxtrot. So that's the right side of the plane. That means we're going to be able to see that plane as it lines up on the ones. Hopefully one right. Shun the light. Tourist in Calgary. That's the viewer. 44 Foxtrot. Get those shine the light emojis ready. United Airlines 758 still at the gate. Let's take a look. We have David sending us a $5 super chat. A little bit of LAX news today, my goodness. Uh, hopefully nothing bad. Looks like we'll be seeing less of JetBlue flights out there starting in June of 2024 due to, an, due to a realignment with the airline. That's bad news, David. Are you ready? I want to see more and more flights. Uh, more and more. Look at this. Let's go for the LA flights Oakland edition once again. Hold on, camera. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. There you go. I think the camera, are you ready, has been working nonstop since the Christmas edition of LA Flights at the TWA Hotel a few months ago. I think the camera, you know what the camera told me the other day? The camera said, Peter, I need a break. I need a vacation. I need a fully expenses uh fully expense a fully paid trip to italy the camera wants to start taking pictures of plates of spaghetti landmarks beautiful beaches of course i'm gonna have to go with the camera to italy and chaperone the camera make sure the camera is safe and sound what do you think do we give the camera a break do we give the camera and all expenses paid. Trip to Italy for two weeks? I say yes. And yes, I'll take the bullet. Don't worry. I'll be chaperoning the camera. I'll make sure the camera's safe. Ah, oh, camera, one day. One day, camera. One day I'll go to... I mean, one day you'll go to the uh, Italian adventure camera One right, off. what do we have let's take a look let's go to American American taking off Okay, let's go from American, yes? The one flying to DFW, let's go for the one yeah, lined up. This one heading to London, United Airlines 701. And remember, United 758, a shine, the light. Tr uh, tourist in Calgary, that's the viewer's name. We'll shine the light in just a few minutes. Uh, a few minutes, well in short time.
Okay, that's the one flying to London. The Atari Ferrari, we have a Delta 757-200, a Captain Canmobile, getting closer to the ones. And you bet, we'll zoom into it. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. We'll go and zoom into the 757 United Airlines, flying in from Newark. United Airlines 648. To arrive, let's go for it. Oh, hold on, new member. We have YS. That's the viewer's name. YS, welcome to LA Flights. Try to find your message, my friend. YS, welcome to the LA Flights membership family. Thank you so much for joining first class today. Uh, 757 Delta still a little far. Okay, so it's still not lining up. And instead of looking at the 757 through, you know, a big fence, how about this, we'll just zoom into the Alaska E-175. Flying in from San Diego, California, we have SkyWest 3478. Talking about Alaska, looks like Alaska error happening right now. We have one pushing from Terminal, Terminal 2. Oh my goodness, all right, let's take a look. Goodness, there it is, 757. Sorry, caught me by surprise. Look at this. That's a Captain Ken Mobile. Captain Ken Mobile leaving SFO and heading to JFK. Delta 669. Come on, give us a no, it's not a turn and burn. Sorry, not a turn and burn. Let's take a look. We have, a, we have an Alaskan E-175 touching down right now. So this one's going to have to line up and wait. Line up and wait. Anna, thank you so much for sending us a super chat. Norwegian super chat. Thank you for the double header at SFO. Love the drag races. Looking forward to see you at JFK April. Anna, can't wait for that. Listen, week of april 21st it's going to be incredible it's going to be amazing it's going to be full of incredible adventure uh memories sights and sounds that we won't forget and i can't wait to meet the la flights viewers because listen every single time i head over to the uh, uh twa hotel it's amazing so many of you head out to new york head out to the hotel and watch the planes and get to see the la flights broadcasts behind the scenes, right? In person. We can't wait for that New York adventure starting April 21st.
All right, let's leave it. Captain Ken Mobile. That one flying to JFK. Let's go for United Airlines, the 737. 73 flying in from where? Flying in from Phoenix. United Airlines 1847, a 737 Max 9. Leap engines powering this one, yes? Jet blue time, let's go for it. And it looks like we have a very cool plane. Is it a cool Max? Let's take a look. And yes, it is. Is that a cool Max? No, that's an A220. Yes. No, hold on. That's Air Canada, not Delta. Okay, so that is uh, A220. Yes, I was right. Flying to Toronto. That one flying to Toronto. Very cool plane. It's a cool dragonfly. That's what it is. It is a very cool dragonfly. So that is a cool dragonfly. Let's take a look. We have an E-175 getting ready for takeoff and arriving. We have an E-175. Flying in from Fresno, California. Hold on. There you go. That one from Fresno, SkyWest 5974. Next arrival coming in. Let's take a look. United Airlines flying in from Palm Springs, California. That's Southern California. A one hour flight for this one. The one from Palm Springs. And 787, let's take a look. We have a Dreamliner. This one, where is it going? It's heading to Denver. Oh, United 758, this is the one, isn't it? Shine the lights. Max 39, I'm going to put your message on the screen. Max. All right, the message says, Peter Ballycat. Grandma, I read Grandma Cheryl Degas. Working on it, Debra C, we will go. Uh, we will go with the camera. 
just know. Uh, you Okay, all of you are going to chaperone around the camera as well. The camera wants to go to uh, Italy. The camera wants to go to Frankfurt. Are you ready? We have a now Max39 keeping the, the uh, chaperone in the camera just like me. I'm telling you this, uh, the camera only wants me to chaperone. Are you ready? But then again, I think I might need some help. So Max39, Ballycat, Cheryl, Degas working on it, Deborah, all of you guys are invited to chaperone the camera as we watch the camera have a vacation, a holiday abroad. Max39, good vibes to you, Max39. I need to chaperone the camera. We have Ann Wilson sending us. Uh, oh, and Ann Wilson. Ann, you can come with us, all right? Chaperone the, the uh, LA Flights camera as it takes a break in Italy. Uh, we have Ann Wilson, a $20 super chat coming in. Thank you, Peter, for helping me smile. Keep a smile on my face as I navigate this rough work week. And all the sacrifice you make for the LA Flights family, you are amazing. We love you and appreciate you. Hashtag Team Peter, hashtag Team LA Flights. And if you can hear it in my voice, I am, listen, Peter's running on Red Bull, Peter's running on Starbucks. I can't even read Super Chats anymore. But I'm having fun and I'm very happy that I, uh, that the planes, that the channel is helping so many of you in the Lurkers Lounge. Always good vibes. Uh, being shared by LA flights always I'll do everything I can to keep that going I can't even read the messages max 39 huh? what do you think about that next time you're gonna have to keep me company we have Jerry $20 super check oh Jerry you can come with us all right uh, max 39 what is it Deborah uh, what else Valley cat uh, working on it we're all having a chaperone the camera trip to Italy I'll match Ann Wilson. It's crazy. It's a crazy work week, and not a good crazy. Uh, we ha and not the not the good crazy, not the good crazy that we have here. The actual, you know, rough week. I'll take a. I'll take a. Listen. Thank you so much, my friends. Are you ready? Listen. You can hear it in my voice. You can hear it in my voice. I I do my absolute best for every single one of you, and listen. I still have a big drive back to Los Angeles, but listen. I want to share SFO with you, and like I keep saying, I'll do everything and anything to keep those good vibes going and to share the planes, to share a good time with all of you. Even if I can't read Super Chats anymore, I'm so exhausted. I think it's okay. Let's take a look. Who do we have? The Dreamliner, shine the lights. 44 Foxtrot, yes? 44 Foxtrot, that's the shine, the light. Towards the uh, back of the plane, yes? Towards the back of the plane, uh, what's the viewer's name? Tourist in Calgary, yes? All right, here we go, Tourist in Calgary. It's your time, shine the lights. Shine the lights. Spotlight is yours. Thousands of people want to see your lights. LA flights setting the trend. Shine the lights seen everywhere. That started right here on this crazy channel. LA flights. Shine the lights. Let's take a look. Dreamliner taking its time to line up. Towards the back of the, uh, towards the rear of the aircraft, yes. All right, come on. 44, I mean, that's like in the back, right? Oh, goodness, hold on. I think I'm going to have to zoom out. I'm not seeing anything. Do you see the light? Do you guys see it? Oh, I don't see it. Jeez, I don't see it. I'm not seeing it, my friends. Nope. Nope, negative. Didn't see it.
That was it, right? Sometimes I have, uh, sometimes I zoom into the wrong plane. That's the right plane, isn't it? The seven, uh, what, what was it? United 75A, right? Something like that. I'm pretty sure that's the right plane. Yeah, no light. Gina says no. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. I tried. I tried. I didn't see it. Let's go and take a look. I think we have a triple seven. Yes, I think we can go and zoom in to the triple. Let's see. There it is. Is this the one flying to Frankfurt? Uh, let's see. Yes, it is. United Airlines 58 heading to Frankfurt. Okay, well, listen. 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 All right. Um, Peter. Shine the light. Yeah, so that one was unsuccessful, okay? But later today, I made a pilot, and pilot said to refer to this pilot as first, as first officer citation, okay? Pretty cool name. First officer citation, it's going to be flight number, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to look it up, but I'll let you know, okay? And first officer citation will shine the light for us, the landing lights, we love that. And possible slight wing wave, okay? Don't expect the crazy Lufthansa wave that we had a few weeks ago. Actually, two consecutive weeks on two Mondays. Uh, separate, separate Mondays, we saw that Lufthansa give us the big wave, right? Well, don't expect that. It's going to be a s slight, slight wing wave, maybe. That happens at 3.40 p.m., yes? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to have to look at the flight number and uh, the schedule time. I think it takes off at 3.40 p.m. And later on in the day, I met a flight attendant, and flight attendant will be taking off after 4 p.m. My goodness, I think the, uh, uh, let's see, I think the, I think the time is uh, 4.40, I think. Uh, let's take a look. It's uh, Sky, it's uh, not Sky West, it's... Uh, United Airlines 5496, a CRJ 700 flying to Aspen, Colorado, and no shine the light, but hey, we'll, we'll catch the takeoff. I told the flight attendant, yeah, I always do long shows. I forgot that today was a short one when I said that. I guess today's short show is being thrown out the window. I think we're going to have a traditional long day of planes here on LA flights. I'm sorry. Do you accept my apology? We're going to have to watch the planes a little longer. All right, triple seven. My goodness, we've dedicated a good amount of time for this one. How about this? Let's go for the possible drag race. So we have an exact jet arriving. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have an exact jet arriving on the 28th. So these two are going to stay put at least for the next few seconds. We have Horizon Retro, little E-175. And, of course, let's go back. So we have the Canadians versus the Mexicans. Let's take a look who's going to win the drag race. Uh, let's see. Flip of a coin. Uh, let's see. Who do you think is going to win the drag race? The Canadians, very cool plane. Or the Mexicans, a MAX aircraft. A very nice, very new plane, 737 MAX 8. Only delivered two years ago. So that is a very, uh, very good plane. All right, Airbus versus Boeing, Canada versus Mexico, right here on LA flights. Okay, exec jet exiting the runway on 28 right. No more arrivals. Here we go, drag race, come on, release both of them. 
Come on, tower. Hopefully the tower loves the drag races. I think this is gearing up to be a really good drag race. They're just they're letting an arrival uh, land right now. Okay, so hopefully both of them both of them at the same time. Do we have winners? What do you think? What do you think? Who's gonna win? Uh, Lupe says Air Canada. Denver says Mexico. TJ says Canadians. Bell says Air Canada. Uh, we have Steven says Cool Max. Zach. Mexican 737 Debra Costa goes with Mexico. All right. What do you think? Kristen says Canada Clear will win. Runway one right here, Canada. Okay, one right. Clear for takeoff. We have to hear one left. Come on. Drag race, please. Oh, geez, that would have been so cool now. Come on. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, a little too late. Oh, well, there you go. Ah, oh, that would have been so cool. I'm disappointed as well. Come on. Jeez Louise. I'm disappointed. That would have been so cool. Okay, listen, we missed, Me <laughs> bear with me, bear with me. Okay, so we missed Mexico versus Canada, yes? Well, how about this? Hold on, you'll see it. Hold on a minute. Alaska. I guess you could, okay, so U.S., right? So it's going to be Mexico versus U.S. Come on, give us the drag race. Mexico versus U.S. And both of these planes, let's take a look, pretty equally matched. So Alaska Airlines is a 737 MAX 9, and Aeromexico a 737 MAX 8. Drag race. Alaska's on the move. Let's say Mexicans are off the line a little too slow. Well, there you go. And listen, that wasn't that wasn't the fault of the Mexicans. That was the tower just trying to create some separation be between these two takeoffs. We can't fault. Aero Mexico for that one. Not a proper drag race. That was not fair. Well, there you go. You know, a few minutes ago, right? A few hour, a few hours ago, a few minutes ago, we were having a nice controller that loved the drag races. We were having a proper drag race every few minutes. Sadly, I think uh, the controller was working a few hours ago. Stopped. All right. Well, there you guys have it. Let's go to the Retro Horizon. I have too much fun doing these, these things, huh? <laughs> I, love, I love doing this. I have way too much fun. All right, you should see me. Are you ready? So it's not just for the show, right? When, you know, whenever I'm plane spotting with like friends and stuff, uh, you know, all throughout my life, you can ask Josh, you can ask, you know, whoever has been plane spotting with me, you know, they will say, yeah, Peter really is like that. He really does the, the, uh, the drag races, the, uh, all the hype. All right, let's go to the retro. Oh, goodness. Oh, 
Oh yes, and the one more plane. I always say one more plane. I've been saying, I have been saying one more plane for the past 20, 25 years. You can ask my dad with uh, for that one. You can confirm it with him one day, whenever he comes on the show. Uh, let's take a look. Papa LA flights, the one more plane. If you think I'm crazy with the one more plane nowadays, you should have you should have heard me 20 years ago. Alright, let's go for the 737 United Airlines. Coming in hot. Flying in from Denver, we have United Airlines 776. And how about this? Let's go and zoom into this one. We have the United Triple. Oh, wow, but look at this. We also have 757 lining up on one left. Who's going to take off first? Okay, so it looks like one right will be the takeoff because that one right there, the United Airlines 777, is holding short of the runway. We do have an arrival. Let's take a look at the flight info for the uh, incoming aircraft. United Airlines 2002 flying in from Los Angeles International. Everyone, that one, this one, waiting for the arrival. Everyone, my goodness. Waiting for a 737-900ER. This one right here. From Los Angeles. That's an LA flight. Oh, wow, look at that. Looks like the uh, 737 is lining up. All right, so who's going to take off first? Is it this one or this one? Well, there you go. I think it's going to be the 737. has to be because there's an arrival they want this one out of the runway as quickly as possible. The big one flying to Frankfurt.
top of this, let's go to the uh, seven five. There you go. The Atari Ferrari, yes, waiting for a few arrivals on a twenty eight. We have Sanjeev. Thank you for, thanks for SFO. Beautiful scenery. Absolutely, Sanjeev. A proud member in the Banana Lounge. We love having you on board, my friend. Thank you so much. Pa Williams, I'll, I'll, thank you so much, friend, okay? I'll give you a big shout out in just a bit. Flying to Boston, we have United Airlines 354, 354. Okay, how about this? Let's go to the uh, 737 Southwest already lined up. And thank you so much. We have Gordon, $2 Super Chat. Wholesome Aviation. Are you ready? Loving it. Thank you so much, Gordon and Mr. Lopez, sending us a $20 super chat because Peter is a jolly good plane spotter. That no one can deny. Thank you, Mr. Lopez. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Good vibes, huh? Good vibes. Love it. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Mr. Lopez. I'm happy you're enjoying the SFO edition. Southwest. I think we have a 737. Yes, let's take a look. I think we have a 737 coming into land. AMC, it's good to see you, friend. AMC using the SFO vibes. Welcome to San Francisco, friend. Looks like that 737 is heading towards the ones. Gonna have that one take off.
and this is the one that's heading to uh, runway one right. We have United Airlines 1823 flying to Houston, Texas. I'm seeing a lot of big planes. All right, so we have, let's take a look. We have United Airlines. This is happening. These are takeoffs happening in the next few minutes. We have United Airlines 194 flying to Munich. We have the one heading to Newark. We have the one flying to Paris and another one transponder activated. Now, uh, the flight information not showing up on the tracking apps, but we have we have four triple sevens with their transponder on and We'll be either departing on one right, or we'll see them taxi to runway 28 right. That happens in the next few moments. And look at this, we have an E-175 just looking straight at us. If you listen carefully, you can hear the engine starting up. The E-170, uh, the uh, big triple sevens in the, in the distance. Look at this. Okay, so we have, okay. Alice, cabin crew on Virgin Atlantic flight 19 from Heathrow. Lands in just over 90 minutes. Hope to see her land. Alice, 90 minutes away. What time is that? Oh, I think that's, I think that's doable, right? I think we're going to be live until 5 p.m. At least until the A380 arrives. Uh, British Airways. That one is out of here. Next arrival, who do we have? How about this? We will uh, go here. We'll go to the E-175. Oh, the exec jet. Hold on. What time is it? The uh, the flight number. Yes, what's the flight number? We have an exec jet. We have first officer citation. So happening in just a few minutes, I met the first officer, and we might get shine the light. We might even get a small... A uh, small, what is it? A small wing wave. So be on a lookout for that. So what's the flight number again? That's ASP 510. Oh goodness, it's already on the ground. Okay. All right. Taxiing. 
first officer citation taking the long way and hopefully we'll see first officer citation on the ones it smells like the ones get ready first officer citation in the next few minutes will shine the light that's what that's that's what the pilot said uh shine the light and maybe slight wing wave i can't wait if it doesn't happen don't blame me blame first officer citation that's what that's what i was told that's what peter was told all right let's see the battle of exec jets who's gonna go first let's take a look we have an exec jet on 28 right we have an exec jet on one left Who's gonna take off first? Oh wow, look at this. This one's gone. It is gone. See the one from Munich. Uh, heading to Munich, I should say. This one heading to Munich. Munich in Germany. How many 777s are headed our way? So we have one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five big 777s heading our way and of course the shine the light exec jet first officer citation hopefully on the ones we have a lot to look forward to there you go wow uh thank you so much we have paul uh paul williams a uh, 50 dollar super chat I'm seeing it right now. I'm seeing it right here, my friend. Put this towards the gas for your trip home or save it. And put it in the uh, Red Bull. And put Red Bull in the car's tank. You're not that far off that car, my goodness, at this point. is also running on Red Bull. Oh, geez, Louise. You know, I'm lucky the car hasn't, you know, I'm lucky that the car, the uh, LA Flights car, the LA Flights truck hasn't had any problems. Knock on wood, right? Hold on. I, I have to knock on wood after that one. I have to do that one. I don't want to jinx it. Uh, yeah, that the car definitely on Red Bull, running on Red Bull. Just like the host of LA Flights. Are you ready? We have Juliana. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. I won't say the last name to protect your privacy, okay? But we have Juliana. Such an interesting name. I've never heard that in my entire life. Juliana. A $20 super chat and through PayPal. Thank you so much, Juliana. I really like that name. And Betty. Thank you, Betty. A $10 super chat. Betty King sending LA flights a $10 super chat on the uh, on the PayPal. We thank you so much, friends. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Betty. And thank you, Juliana.
There you go. Good touchdown, that one. My goodness, that was firm, though. I felt that one. Not the smoothest of touchdowns, but, uh, but hey, I mean, at least, it's, uh, at least it, uh, it landed. Jeez. My back hurt it after that one. Okay, first officer, citation. Where are you? Let's take a look. Is this you? Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, still a little far. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So I'm trying to find first officer citation. We have a triple seven. We have a delta seven five seven. We have so many planes. Look at this. Let's go for arrival because I can choose. Let's take a look. I can't choose between the planes on the taxiway. So how about this? We'll just zoom into the arrival. That's easy. That's an easy pick. If I zoom into a plane on the taxiways, I literally have a choice of five planes, five very interesting planes to zoom into. I can't make the decision, so I'll zoom in to the arrival because Peter's losing it. Are you ready? It's a good problem to have. I'll take it any day of the week. A very good problem to have. So many planes you can't even choose. Shine the light, exec jet, first officer citation. It looks like it's heading to the ones. Hopefully. My goodness, another big plane. A plane that I wasn't expecting to see. Taxiing and heading to the 28s. This is a banana plane, right? What do you think? I think I, uh, I think I posed the question during one of our LAX shows. I think Asiana can be a very good banana plane. I think this could be a plantain. Are you ready? Plantain? I think that one's just me, though. I think it just be the host. It reminds me of a banana. Am I the only one? I can't be the only one. All right, let's go for it. Uh, let's see. So we have so many planes to get to, yes? All right, so we have this one uh, flying to Shanghai. Get ready. It's going to be pretty quick. Air China. Korean Air. However, this one is a, an arrival and will head to the gates for parking. First Officer Citation, you know, I was chatting with First Officer Citation before the show started, and turns out that First Officer Citation is a big fan of LA flights. We were actually talking about how I was zooming into a shine the light on a Lufthansa A380, the, uh, the passenger that was shine the, shining the light last week. Look at that. Big fan of the show. We love to have viewers shine the light told you so many things to see right this one flying to newark we have united airlines 343 Goodness. All right. Uh, citation. Yes. Let's take a look. So many things to see. Yes. Good problem to have. We also have Turkish. If you thought all of this wasn't enough, well, we have Turkish. But I think all eyes are on this one. First officer, citation. We've been waiting for your plane for a long time. Here you are. I should have told uh, First Officer Citation to uh, uh, give us an ATC shout-out. Are you ready? Should have done that. That's it?
There you go. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little because it's a little, uh, it's a little iffy. That one's flying to Shanghai. Triple seven flying to Shanghai today. Oh my goodness, hold on. Is it this one? Hold on. Let's take a look. Is it this one? Okay, all right, hold on. I was getting nervous for a second. It's this one. All right, this is the Shine the Light plane. Here we go. All right, Shine the Light. Spotlight is yours. First officer citation, we've been waiting all day for your flights. All day long. Lights off. <laughs> Are we going to have shine the light or what? What do you think? We've been waiting a long time for this flight. For, uh, citation, uh, first officer, shine the light. Spotlight is yours. Shine that world famous, shine the light. My goodness. All right, listen, I think we'll have to come back to this one. Because look at this, we have a massive plane, big one. Big one. All right, here we go. Shine the light. See shine the light. I think that was the right flight. I think that was it, right? Well, there you go. Well, first officer citation will have the takeoff for his records. And hey, LA Flight's getting to film that takeoff. Let's go here. Look at this. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of planes. Get ready. So we have Turkish and we also have United. Port 
Okay, posing for the cameras. Look at this. So many planes. Hold on, let me zoom out, okay? I want to zoom out and... Okay, so we have United, yes? Hopefully I can get the uh, other planes. Well, there you go. Look, look at all the planes that we have. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, triple sevens. It's going to be a long time for these planes to take off. There's just a steady stream of arrivals, and I don't see these planes taking off anytime soon. Well, look at that. We have Porter. We have a Delta 757 about to start taxing, heading to the ones. We have Alaska Airlines, a very special livery. We have an exec jet, and we have... Give me a second. And we have... <laughs> Hold on. Oh my goodness, look at this. We have so many planes in front of the LA Flights channel. We have so many planes. So many 777s and... Porter, I'm hearing it take off. And I'm telling you, these planes are not going to take off. Porter has just left. We have an E-175. Uh, the Delta 75 that I was talking about is starting to taxi, starting to move. And the 777s on taxiway Lima starting to bunch up. found something. Hold on. My goodness. We have plane spotting companions. Are you ready? My goodness. Plane spotting companions. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I'm having such a hard time uh, zooming into these guys. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what's the name? Jack and Zach? I forgot the name of these uh, plane spotting companions. Jack and Zach? Yankee and Tango? What are we calling the uh, plane spotting companions? Flank to Shanghai on the move.
All right, we have the planes. We have a lot of planes. A Yankee and Tango, are you ready? Uh, I think that's the name that we'll be giving our new plane spotting companions, yes? Okay, it looks like the planes are lining up. We have Air China flying to Beijing, lining up on 28 right. Looks like we have a big one. Who do we have arriving in the next few uh, seconds? We have United Airlines 195 flying in from Munich. Number two for touchdown. Look at that, they're really bunching up now. So all these planes, yes, all these planes, they're waiting for an arrival. The exec jet lined up on one left. A bunch of 777s bunching up together, waiting for this one. Well, in all honesty, waiting for a few planes, but this is one of them. The E-175 touching down, and the big one, the big 777 from Munich, arriving in 45 seconds. Let's take a look. We have the E-175 still on the runway. Eyes on this one. United 195 from Munich. E-175 still on the runway. Eyes on this one. And the E-175 just now exiting the runway. This is it. We have Air China lining up. Leaving the uh, the bunch of triple sevens, leaving the pack.
I think this is a good chance for them to uh, clear the taxiway right now. We have an arrival several miles out. Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't see the small exec jet. Goodness. Not a traffic jam not only on the 28th, but also here on the ones, including a Delta 757, E175, I see an exact jet, and several more E175s. All right, the one flying to Munich has been cleared for takeoff. And to remain, two triple sevens. But the traffic jam here on the ones continue. Let's see, starting to get a little bouncy. All right, hold on, let me zoom out just a touch. One left. one left. All right, so we go for the E-175 now. E-175 flying to Burbank, Burbank, California. Just about a 50 minute flight for this one. And 757 still waiting. And do you know what's another plane? So we have this one right here. I don't believe it's being towed. So this one taxing under its own power. Hold on. Let me zoom out just a touch. 
And let's see if I see any flight information. Now, I am not seeing any flight information. But I don't see the tug. Could be a takeoff in the next few moments. We'll find out. I'm not seeing it on the tracking apps, though. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so we have a big traffic jam on the ones. I think we can go to the... Uh, Two triple sevens, yes, yeah, still waiting. I think we have an opportunity to see Turkish take off. We'll see if Tower uses this opportunity. And it's on the move. There you go, the next arrival several miles out. A perfect opportunity for the Turkish to line up and take off. for the camera, so I'll take it. Turkish, looking very nice. And in the meantime, let me take a look at a few wonderful viewers that we have. Uh, let's take a look. Proud mom, dad, aunt, and uncle of FO Citation. Very nice. I'm happy you saw that takeoff. Now, the Super Chat came in right when First Officer Citation was taking off. I hope you're still watching, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, safe flights to First Officer Citation back to Canada. about a 13-hour flight back to Istanbul and well Turkish is gone and only one remains in the bunch just one remains thank you Craig sending us a uh, $2 super chat LA flights tomorrow is my birthday I don't think I'm going to be live tomorrow I think I'll just uh, I'll just I'll just I'm going to be a zombie. Are you ready if I go live tomorrow? But uh, I guess on Saturday, the next day that we go live, we'll send you a big shout out. Hold on a minute. Let me do the round of applause for you. So happy birthday, Craig. I'm sure the LA Flights viewers can send a whole bunch of happy birthday vibes your way. We have Bally Cats, our wonderful moderator, sending a slice of cake. No wonder. Are you ready? <laughs> no wonder the LA Flights kitchen smells so delicious. A slice of cake being baked by our wonderful Valley Cat. We have Ed sending us a $20 Super Chat. Peter, my friends Chris and Matthew love the Air India 777 and love the TWA Hotel. Can't wait for the live show. That starts April 21st. It's going to be an incredible week full of planes here on LA Flights. We can't wait for that. And of course, Air India, two flights to New Delhi, uh, to Delhi and Mumbai. We can't wait for that. New York, if you are excited about LA flights heading back, heading back to the TWA hotel, you know what to do. Fill the chat with the New York City vibes.
Okay, 838 traffic in sight, clear to take off on way home, one left. Let's take a look. Let's go for the 757. We have E one seventy five, yes. Due north three six zero heading. And the LA flight's catching up and running. We have Ballycat. Thank you so much, Ballycat. We have Paul Williams, Chef Paul. Sending some cake to Craig Russell, our wonderful viewer for such a long time and our all access VIP member. Craig is a top of the line member here on LA flights. Take a look. Okay, lined up and re ready to go. We go to the United Airlines triple. Flying to Paris, United Airlines 990 to Paris. Beautifully done. Look at this. We have a big one. We have Qatar Airways. Let's go for it. Do you know what that means? That means, hold on, what time? Uh, oh, hold on. I think it's still one hour. Uh, one hour away, right? Uh, Emirates takeoff? I believe it's one hour away. Emirates should take off around 4.40 p.m. Correct me if I'm wrong. We have Chef Shane. Thank you so much, Chef Shane. Sending a slice of cake to one of our uh, truly wonderful viewers, Craig Russell, celebrating a special day tomorrow. We have Arlen. 
Big one, $25 Super Chat coming in. Thank you for the great SFO shows. I was blown away when you mentioned the price of gas out there in California on the last SFO trip. I can buy a regular unleaded in Manhattan for three fifty a gallon. I'm jealous of you. Are you ready? Absolutely jealous. Oh, goodness. 100% <laughs> jealous. There's no other word to say uh, jealous. Are you ready? What's the gas price around here? I think the uh, a there's a AMPM around the corner, like right next to the in and out I think the price for gas is 525, 550. So you bet. I'm going to head there. Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty cheap. Believe it or not, it's really cheap. Well, it's cheap. It's not really cheap, but it's cheap. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hefty. Are you ready? Hefty, hefty. We have, let's take a look. We have Aaron sending us a $2 super chat. Thank you so much. You're making door dashing uh, tolerable. Thanks. There you go. Aaron enjoying the planes and enjoying some delicious door dash. Welcome to LA Flights SFO edition. All right, look at this. It's that time of day. Let's zoom in. I'm telling you, this location, the location that I'm at, it's one of the best locations for AF geeks. I have to say that. Look at this. That's a jogging trail. Imagine jogging every morning, every afternoon, and just, you know, running or cycling and having these planes taxi right next to you. The smell, the sound. The sights, the visuals, everything is just top-notch for AF geeks. I'll say it again. LA Flights loves SFO. It's, it's a magnificent location. Truly one of the best spots for AF geeks. The weather is beautiful. Sure you, sure, you have to wear a sweater sometimes, but listen. It's fantastic any way you see it. this we'll zoom out and we'll go and get the triple seven from Beijing we have United Airlines 889 There you go, let's go to Qatar Airways, flying to Doha City. 
What's the name of that taxiway? Hold on. Name of that taxiway is Foxtrots. Okay, there you go. Taxiway Foxtrots. And we have Telly, yes, Telly, sending us a $2 super chat, loving the SFO streams. Thank you so much for watching LA Flights as we take the show on the road. LA Flights, yes, LA Flights SFO edition. The overrated chef sending a slice of cake, certainly not an overrated slice of cake being made by the overrated chef. I'm sorry. <laughs> the overrated chef uh, sending a slice of cake to our wonderful Craig Russell. Good vibes, yes. Four thousand likes. It's only 170 away. How about this? Can we cross the big 4,000 before this one takes off? Four thousand likes. 170 away. Can we? We're going to need your help. We'll stay with this one, yes. We're going to be zooming into the next arrival. Give me five seconds. Next arrival, who do we have? Let's take a look. We have United Airlines 687 flying from Medford, Medford, Oregon.
CRJ still waiting, uh, correct, not CRJ, the uh, A350 still waiting patiently. And we have Frontier, we have Virginia the Wolf arriving in the next few seconds. Virginia, get ready. Well, that's Virginia. The Frontier flying in from Phoenix, a one hour, 40 minute flight. And we can't wait to see Frontier Airlines back at Los Angeles starting April in just a few weeks. Frontier returns to LAX. They stopped flying to Los Angeles International back in October of 2022. We will have a close-up of Virginia in the next few uh, next few seconds. United Airlines two zero eight flying in from Burbank. A one-hour flight, A737 MAX 8. And get ready, behind this one we have Aer Lingus. We have everyone's favorite green plane flying in from Dublin. A 10-hour, 25-minute flight behind Aer Lingus. Yes, behind the Irish we have Taiwanese. Another green plane. So it's back-to-back -back green plane arrivals. One from Dublin, the other one from Taipei. down the uh, sounds. Uh, <clears throat> All right, so, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to talk over the uh, the things. Let's take a look, look at this, hold on. Can we take a look at this? So that's Eva, that's the Taiwanese flight, landing gear down. So that one, number two for touchdown. Look at this, hold on, we'll zoom out. Hopefully we can get all these planes on the uh, on approach. Oh, let's see, can we see it? No, not really, all right. Okay, so that is Aer Lingus, yes? Okay. 
Let's go and zoom into the Taiwanese triple seven, back to back green planes. Qatar finally lining up. And we'll go here. We'll go to the United Airlines 737 takeoff. Oh, goodness. Okay, we're going to stay with the 737 for just a few more seconds. Flying to Denver, that one, a 737 MAX 9. Jeez Louise, so many things to see. Okay, let's zoom out from the United 737. We have the French. from the French, let's go to Qatar. Oh my goodness, where is it? There it is, sorry about that. Can I get closer? I think I can. Let's get a little closer to the uh, 777. Look at that. Mighty 777. Flying back to France.
Right, let's take a look. Air France will hold short of to a right. And we have, let's take a look. We have Kirk. Thank you so much. Uh, Two dollars super chat coming in. Love seeing the action at SFO. Thank you. You're quite welcome, Kirk. Thank you so much for watching LA flights, my friend. Once, at least once every week. Paul Williams sending us a super chat, slice of cake, super sticker, someone out there. It could be for Craig. Yes, Paul, I think you already sent your super sticker for uh, uh, for Paul, for, uh, not Paul, uh, what's his name? Uh, Craig Russell could be a different person, a new person celebrating a special day. We love it when we get to know of the viewers sending their special uh, birthday messages. We have Dana. Dana Bergman just came aboard. How are you holding up? Well, I'm running on Red Bull. Uh, pretty much <laughs> pretty much Red Bull and, uh, you know, other caffeine, you know, Starbucks or... Uh, that's pretty much it. Are you ready? Dana, thank you so much for watching and enjoy the Red Bull, I mean, the plane show. Not the Red Bull show, the plane show here on LA Flights, SFO edition. After today's show, Peter will drive back to Southern California, Los Angeles. Next day that we go live will be on uh, Saturday for the big weekend show. Uh, I doubt it. Never say never, but I doubt that we're going to have a Thursday bonus one more show. We already had the bonus one more show, and it was yesterday. So we'll see what happens, my friends. The bonus one more day. I don't think it's going to happen tomorrow, Thursday, but hey. I'll be back on Saturday. I think that's okay, right? Give me a yes, give me a no. I think that is a okay. We have Shane saying, this is only my third SFO visit. Had to grow on me, but I really do like it. Do you know something, Shane? You know, for a long time, right? I, I've always considered heading to San Francisco for the longest of times. Uh, two years ago when we started the show, uh, when we started the live shows, I really wanted to do like LAX at SFO, but I didn't think SFO was quite busy enough until last year I said, okay, um, we're going to pull the trigger and let's just go to San Francisco. Let's see how it is. Let's see how it looks. And I fell in love with SFO after, ever since, I believe it was August, I think. August of last year, I've been trying to head out here several times a month. So starting last week, I'm fully committed for a once a week show, once a week from SFO. So it kind of had to grow on me too. But hey, right when I visited... Uh, SFO absolutely fell in love with this airport with the sights with the sounds as we have hunks of celebrations uh, down on the road <laughs> sirens of celebrations as well Kristen uh, thank you so much are you ready Kristen a six dollar super chat for a gallon of gas it's over five dollars here too in north california in uh, crescent city thank you for all that you do peter enjoying your streams Kristen. thank you so much i appreciate that one gallon of gas heading to the uh, good old la flights car thank you so much for that Kristen. and look at that uh, hey listen i'm not lying it's expensive out here Kristen is my witness. For those of you who say, no, Peter, there's no way that gallon of gas is five, six bucks. 
There it is. We have a viewer, Kristen. Has to pay a lot of money for the gas as well, just like the host. French lining up. What time is it? 4.20, so that means we're going to have the A380 uh, take off in the next few moments. Hey, no British Airways today. What do you think? Is Bieber delayed, uh, canceled? Does it come? Does it not come in on Wednesday? Speedbird 2, uh, what is it? Uh, Speedbird, the uh, A380. Well, I guess it's not coming in today. Better, it's delayed. And we have the 757-300, yes, the flying uh, pencil. Taking off via runway 28 right. Longest runway. And it's flying to Honolulu. We have United Airlines 1509. Paul, are you ready? Slice of cake was for Jennifer. Jennifer Graham, it's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Jennifer. A whole bunch of happy birthday vibes. Sorry about that. Goodness. What was that, a minute without sound? Ah, uh, jeez, Louis. Sorry about that. So, Chef Paul, are you ready? Uh, I'll say this again. A big five-pound super chat. A slice of cake for Jennifer Graham. Are you still watching? Are you still with us? Happy birthday to you, Jennifer. We always love to celebrate the birthdays. I think the round of applause. I think I pressed the mute button by accident. My goodness. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. What the, what else did I say? Uh, what time did I say? What time is it? So A380 should be taking off in the next few minutes. Uh, I think I also said. Uh, Speedbird, is it delayed? Is it arriving? Did I say that before or after the mute se uh, session? Goodness. <laughs> Peter pressing the wrong button. That's how you know. Listen, that's how you know Peter's losing it. That's how you know Peter's going mad, going plain crazy. 
Peter's pressing the buttons that he knows not to press. He's pressing them. Hopefully it wasn't that quiet that long. Yankee and Tango. Did you hear me talk about Yankee and Tango? We have Yanko and Tango, our favorite plane spotting companions here at uh, SFO. Look at this. They're just having fun. No worries. Their biggest worry in life is where am I going to find the next worm? Look at that. Just enjoying life, huh? Plane spotting, living out here at the Bayfront Park. Good vibes to them. Good vibes, yes? How about this? Let's send the friendly vibes to Yankee and Tango. Enjoying their life. Look at that face. Not a worry. Not a worry. That's a face with no worries. That's how a face looks with no worries. All right, so let's go to the 757. That's a face that doesn't have to drive seven hours back home. That's a good face. 7-5, what's the plane going? Where's the plane going? It's flying to Honolulu, right? And looks like we have an Airbus. We have an Airbus on uh, taxiway. Uh, not taxiway, uh, runway. One right. There it is. We have Mr. Jim. Thank you so much. Mr. Jim sending us a $2 super chat. The message says thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching. Mr. Jim. Welcome to LA Flights, my friend. Good to have you on board. Okay, we'll leave the A3, what was it, A319, uh, yes? A320 flying to Seattle. And now we'll zoom into the 757. I think it's powering up. Flying to Honolulu. I think we have a 737. Let's go and take a look at uh, this one. Why not? 737, let's take a look at the flight information. So who do we have? 
United Airlines 2262 flying to Indianapolis, a 737-900ER. And there's the update. Looks like Speedbird, Ulysses, thank you so much. A 380 delayed by several hours. So it does not look like we will see Speedbird today. Thank you, Lucy, sending us... Chef Lucy, very nice. Chef Lucy sending a slice of cake to Jennifer, Jennifer Graham. And we have Chef Shane sending a slice of cake to uh, Jennifer Grant. Jennifer, are you still watching? You have a whole bunch of cake headed your way. Jennifer Graham, happy birthday. Oh, but that's okay. We have an exec jet lined up and getting ready to go. Look at this drag race at the same time. Can the CRJ pull the upset? Let's take a look now. Oh, the drag race, CRJ, the uh, CRJ losing the race against an exact Jets. Don't tell me that's the one heading to Aspen. Is that the one flying to Aspen, Colorado? Let's take a look. Sacramento, California. So we have a CRJ and we have flight attendant Bill. Not shining the light, but we will uh, capture their uh, takeoff in just a few moments. Let's go for the arrival. It looks like we have a big one. We love the big ones. We love the big planes. Wow, goodness. On the pawn 108, flying in from Haneda. And congrats on the first super chat. We have Cool 80Z sending us a $4 super chat. Cup of coffee, I'll take that any day of the week. Welcome to LA Flights, my friend, and congrats on that first Super Chat. I'll take that coffee. I'm going to need that coffee, goodness, to drive back to Los Angeles.
Okay, another drag race shaping up. Okay, next arrival, let's go and take a look. We have, I think is, I think we have an E-175, yes, from Eagle, Colorado. All right, a few good arrivals. Uh, let's see, we have United Airlines 214 flying in from Honolulu up next. A737-900ER flying four hours, 24 minutes. And I think I spy an exec jet. Not the only plane. I think I also spy a 757. Takeoffs on the ones. We have the planes.
It smells like the ones. Are you ready? It smells like the ones. United Airlines, uh, flight number 737, the aircraft Type A 737 MAX 9, landing in just a few seconds, flying in from Seattle, Washington. Swiss arriving in 25 minutes. Thank you, Ken. Huh. Where did we go? Uh, let's see. Well, the one flying in from Seattle is touching down right now, so how about this? Let's zoom in to the one that's lining up. Let's just go for the arrival. We do have the United Airlines 757 getting a little close to us. And we will definitely zoom into that one. What do we have? Let's take a look. We have Air Canada. We have the Canadians coming in, flying in from Vancouver. A two-hour flight for this one. Two hours from, uh, from Vancouver. If I can find it, hold on. See, I think we can zoom into the... Why not? Let's go for it. We have United Airlines 1931 flying in from San Jose del Cabo, the next one to arrive. Where is it? Hold on. Let me try and find it. There you go. How about this? So let's do a let's do an extreme close up. Let's zoom in, and I want to see those tire uh, the tires make contact with the runway. Get ready, extremely zoomed in. Peter's not afraid of the zoom. That's pretty good, wasn't it? I think that was pretty good. V2500 engines powering that A320. 
Exact jet time. Let's go for the exact jet. Do we see the 7.5? Let's take a look. Might be a rolling takeoff. We have Colin. Thank you so much, Colin, sending us uh, $2 Super Chats. We appreciate that. Sending the SFO vibes. Colin Taylor. We have Paul Williams. Uh, do, uh, are these additional Paul Williams and Chef Shane? Someone out there celebrating a special day. Seven five seven. Uh, by the way, we have FedEx a seven sixty seven coming in. That seven fifty seven flying to Newark. We have United Airlines two zero eight. Let's go for FedEx. Aspen, hold on a minute, look at this, this is it. Have a safe flight, we have flight attendant Bill on that one, CRJ. It was so nice meeting you, Bill. Welcome to the LA Flights family and have a safe trip all the way to Aspen. How about this, you know, for flight attendant Bill on the live comment section, can we send welcome Bill? Let's welcome Bill to the LA Flights house. He was the home of the one more plane. It's that time of day. Get ready. Right, let me 
me zoom out. Let's go and... Okay, hold on. Uh, my goodness, there's so many things to see. Let's go to the final... Uh, let's go to final approach first. We have United Airlines 548, A777-300ER. How long of a flight? It's 5 hours, 20 minutes of flight time for this one. Let's take a look. Let's leave that one, the one from Newark, and let's start zooming in to this one. We have the, it's only the king of the skies, everyone. It's only the A380. Did I mention it's getting a little chilly right now? Jeez Louise, huh? Let's take a look. There you go, it's taxing right at us, heading straight at us. Uh, should cross the ones. Let's take a look. Should cross the ones, and it should be a takeoff on runway 28 right. Next few moments. Menacing look. Are you ready? That's a menacing look. Next one to arrive. Okay, so we have a couple of big ones. So we're going to see Virgin Atlantic. Hold on a minute. Didn't we have a viewer uh, that had a daughter? Yes, on board United, uh, not United. Uh, what is it? Virgin Atlantic. So we have the 787 from Heathrow. Yes, we have United Airlines 598. A uh, big 777-300ER flying in from Frankfurt and Swiss arriving in eight minutes. So there goes, uh, there goes A380. Should cross the ones. Now we do have an American Airlines in position. And I think that's Zippy, isn't it? We have Zippy Dreamliner. American Airlines trying its best to steal the spotlight, but we're going to stay with the king of the skies. How about this? Uh, let's take a look. So we have Alice, yes? Let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look. Alice, cabin crew of Virgin Atlantic 19, flying it from Heathrow. It's on final right now. Let's go for it. So we're going to leave the A380. Don't you worry. We're going to come back to that one in just a few seconds. There it is. There it is. The flight from London. 
lasting 10 hours and 30 minutes. So many things to see. We also have, okay, so United Airlines is on short final. Emirates crossing the ones. What to see, everything, it's all about timing. How about this, let's go for the arrival. United 59 flying in from Frankfurt. The 777-300ER. 10 hours, 56 minutes of flight time for this one. Let's go to the uh, Super. Yes, we have Emirates. I think you can hear it. It's pulling up its engines and crossing the ones. That's the 380. We have, okay, so thank you, Paul. Are you ready? So someone out there is celebrating a special day, and it's Michael, Mike, 78. 78 years young today. And we have Chef Alicia sending a couple of slices of uh, slices of cake. Headed towards Mike's 78th birthday. Thank you, Alicia. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so we have the 380 joining Taxiway. Uh, taxiway Lima. Who else? Uh, let's see, I think we have Zippy. We have Zippy right next to us.
There you go. We love Zippy. Zippy Airlines. All right. Let's go to the Super. Joining Taxiway Charlie. Let's go zoom into the Swiss 777. Memberships being sent. We have Betty King. Thank you, Betty. Gifting one. Uh, Friendly Forester, thank you so much. Alicia doing it twice. Are you ready? So one, and that's the second membership. Thank you, Alicia. Also sending the slices of cake. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What day is it today? It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you, Alicia. Thank you for being with us. We have Anna Wilson in the Lurkers Lounge, I think having a work week, work day, and also having us on. I'm sorry for the distraction, and <laughs> I'm sorry for distracting. Uh, let's take a look. Frank L., thank you so much, joining the, it looks like a membership train at this point. Uh, Frank L., to close out the SFO edition of LA Flights, we have a membership train. We have Kazi Snail, yes? Kazi Snail gifting one. Welcome to LA Flights, my friend. Thank you so much for that. I'm happy you are enjoying the SFO edition. We have Craig Russell celebrating the birthday tomorrow. Sadly, we won't be live. Uh, Craig Russell, happy early birthday, my friend. Thank you so much for helping grow the LA Flights family. Al 1000, good to see you. L1000 sending one to LA flights. So look at this. This is a membership train to close out the SFO edition of LA flights. We're going to be back here at San Francisco next week. One, maybe two days. We'll see what happens. Thank you so much, Paul. Are you ready? Paul sending one to LA flights. Good afternoon, my friend. Frank L doing it again. Thank you, Frank. Do you know someone else who's doing it again? Not just Frank. Alicia, that's three memberships being sent to LA Flights Live. Thank you so much, Alicia. Look at that. Jeez Louise. Hold on, let me get the two-for-one special. Yes, two-for-one. Ginny, thank you, Ginny, sending one the LA flights. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for being with us. And the next day that, well, we'll be live. We'll be on the Saturday, Saturday special. Laurie doing it again, five, the LA flights. Thank you, Laurie. You know, I'm lost for words. I really am, you can hear it. Uh, I, I am really lost for words, but you guys are so amazing. You guys are so kind. You guys are the best. Laurie with another five memberships. That's the equivalent of a $25 super chat in the form of five memberships being gifted to five lucky viewers in the LA Flights family. Kaufman, you're doing it. You're joining the membership train. Thank you so much, Kaufman. Carrick, gifting one. Who did you gift? You gifted Mechanic Casey today. Welcome aboard the membership train. We have Tasha D. Thank you, Tasha, a proud member in the Banana Lounge. 
Thank you so much. Welcome aboard the membership train. Looks like Amorites will not have to wait that long today. This one lighting up. Thank you so much, James. James sending one to this Avgeek family. Thank you, James. James P. We gifted Benjamin Flores. And Chris. Thank you, Chris. Welcome aboard the membership train. As we close out this week's SFO edition uh, uh, shows. It's been a great week. No regrets. I love this. Back-to-back uh, -back days of plane spotting. I don't think we're going to do a uh, double header next week. I think we're going to go back to LAX. Because always remember LAX, our home base, right? Uh, so next week, I think only one day, Tuesday. And we'll, do the, uh, we'll hold the Wednesday LAX special. I don't want people thinking we're LA fl uh, SFO flights. Are you ready? SFO flights? Oh, my goodness. See how close I can get. All right, bear with me. All right, let's see. Let's see how close we can get. There you go. Several arrivals coming in. Get ready. We have actually several arrivals. We have actually a few big ones. Let's take a look. We'll get to those arrivals in just a little bit. Is that it? Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought it. I thought it went into the clouds. And LA Flight's the home of the One More membership. You guys are so kind. Alicia, my goodness, I've lost count. How many is that? Five in total? Six in total? We have Matt Hendricks sending one. Welcome aboard the membership train, friend. We have Michael, Michael Hirsch, gifting five. Look at that. That's five memberships in one shot. Let's see. Thank you so much, Michael. I really do appreciate that, my friends. Okay, I think that's it. We'll uh, leave Emirates. How about this? We'll, uh, we'll zoom into the Zippy, Zippy Dream Liner. Already on the move. All right, let's take a look. Uh, let's say, okay. Before anything else, how about this?
think I'll make it official. One more plane for tonight. Banner's up, everybody. The banner is up. Zippy. The first ever time, this is the first time ever that Zippy is our one more plane. The one more plane for tonight. Zippy flying back to Narita. What's this I see? Is that going to take off? Ah, hold on. I don't think it's taking off, is it? Uh, the big blue plane, Korean Air, the 777, I don't think it's going to take off. I think it's, uh, I think that one just being moved around. Yeah, I think I see that, right? It's uh, being towed to remote parking. So that one, certainly not uh, taking off anytime soon. That one, that's going to be a red-eye flight. Now let's take a look. That's it. Do we have anything else coming in? Oh, goodness. Ah, oh, hold on. Do we have anything else coming in? Kaufman sending us a $2 super chat. Thank you so much for that. The message says, Kaufman, safe travels back home. Thank you so much, Kaufman, okay? Uh, let's take a look. Mike Hirsch, Laurie. Wow, those are five memberships being sent. Rachel D., we love the SFO edition of LA Flights. Thank you so much, Rachel. I'm so happy that you are, that you enjoyed the uh, SFO edition of LA Flights. I think, uh, let's take a look. My goodness. How about this? I'm going to call it a day, my friends. Thank you so much. I apologize for the caveman hair. I just have no, uh, no, literally no time to uh, get the haircut. So, you know, here we are. Oh, let's take a look. Hold on. There you go. I think that's much better, right? Hey. Uh, and Wilson, thank you so much for sending us the Red Heart Super Sticker. Uh, the Red Heart Super Sticker. Thank you, Anne. And thank you, LA Flights viewers. You guys are the best. It's chilly. Uh, believe it or not, it's chilly. And I have seven, eight-hour drive back home. I'm not going to be live tomorrow. I'm not going to be live on Friday. I'll be back on Saturday. Big show on Saturday. I'm thinking right now. Am I going to be live tomorrow? I don't think so. Good sound, but I think I'm done. Good sound, but I think I'm done. Uh, everybody, thank you so much. You guys are the best viewers. And listen, I, I really uh, I really hope that you guys had a lot of fun because this isn't easy. This isn't easy and it isn't cheap. And, you know, Peter's a zombie right now, but I really hope I do this for you guys. Okay, so I really hope that you guys are enjoying this and everything that I do, right? The investments in the channel that I make, right? For the, you know, crazy night vision, you know, big, you know, strong equipment, 
all this tech that I have, everything, right? Everything that I have, it's for you. So I really do hope that you guys are uh, liking this, right? The SFO edition. Is it worth it? Yes or no? Is it worth it? Give me a yes. Give me a no. Do I continue driving to NorCal every single week? I say yes. If you guys are up for it, I will do this for you guys, okay? LA flights, the home of the one more plane, the home of friendly vibes. I hope you had a great time and we'll be back on Saturday. It's just a couple of days. I promise you time is going to fly and we'll get together. We'll share the good vibes. We'll have a great time. We'll try to recreate all of this amazing aviation content. Yes, and... I promise you, we're going to have a great day on Saturday. Just like every day, right? Every morning I say, oh, you know, I promise we're going to have a great day. Well, I promise you that we're going to have a great day on Saturday. All right. Uh, let's say... I think that's it. Thank you for watching. Super chat coming in. Hold on. Super chat. Hold on, hold on. Shanta, look at that. Thank you so much. $10 super chats. Thank you again, Peter. Safe drive back. See you on Saturday. God bless. God bless you, Shanta. Thank you for being with us and thank you for being Team LA Flights. I think that's it. Uh, let's see. I know for a fact if I didn't have to drive back, if I lived across the street or something, I would still keep the show going because I, I don't want to call it a day. I, I still want to be out here. But I know that in one hour's time, you know, I'm going to be that much more exhausted and I still have that drive to face. Okay, so I'm calling it. You guys are the best, and we'll see you on Saturday. Before I start sounding like a broken record because Peter's losing it, I'll say goodbye, a final goodbye for today. Bye-bye. Call it a day, Peter. I know you want to stay for, my, for one more plane, but call it a day. All right, Peter, everyone knows you want to stay, but just go home. Just go home already. Bye-bye, everybody. I miss you, and a couple days. Time's going to fly, I promise you. Bye-bye. In a world where live streaming plane spotters or royalty
starts. That's a two-for-one special opening up the SFO edition of LA Flights Live. Look at that. Let's just take it in. Okay, let's just take it in. 